What up, everybody? Welcome to Risk of Resources Loadout Race of the Week. Um, we're already jumping in because I'm like a couple seconds late, but here we go. So we have two new races today. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm racing. This is Frost Prime. Hello. Not Frost Prime underscore anymore, baby. No, but pure. Oh. Very pure. Powerful. <laughs> Okay, pure's not the great word when you describe a white guy on the internet, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dude, starting off with Commando. I'm actually in love with that. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, yeah. it's iconic, you know? Yeah, I mean, he is Risk of Rain, right? Like, he is the boy. It's John Rain. Rick Rain, even. <laughs> um... So, okay, so for the, the two new races today, you see them on the screen already. We have Goji and we have Ruddy Cub, and they're going against Disputed today as our um, as their kind of entry uh, into the races. They've been in their Train Wheels program for quite a while. They've been doing scrims with the team, with the other racers, and they've been comfy, and, you know, we've seen what they can do, and we think they're ready. Although, no matter what you do, it's always going to be a very nerve-wracking thing to... Uh, be thrust upon you know the loadout races in front of everybody so make sure you uh you welcome them well and see uh see them after the first loadout and stuff i'm sure they're nervous it's a it's a big day but i'm sure they're gonna do great loadouts today i'm gonna just quickly cycle through uh we have commando today this is like actually my favorite uh commando loadout i like this one a lot yeah, it's like uh, all of his good abilities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have Railgunner with the alternative M2 and alternate special. We have Railgunner, not Railgunner. I already said Railgunner. We have Artie with Flamethrower, um, which I know a lot of people like seeing. And then, oh boy, we have Blight <laughs> Acrid. It's time oh, man. To, to, you know, end it all off. So, but, you know, start with a little commando. I actually think um, Commando can be a little bit tough sometimes. So I think some of these loadouts, Railgunner excluded, I think they're going to be a little bit slower than normal. Um, kind of, you kind of want to loot up on these a little bit just to make sure uh, that you're good. So, but it's yeah, going to be tough needs, today. He needs a little bit. Yeah. There are some survivors like Loader, you know, they can just kind of go to Mythrix from stage one. Commando needs some items. He's hungry. He's a uh, he's a guy. Um, so starting off today, looks like they have pennies. I saw Ruddy already using the pennies with a fire beetle. I can see Goji doing that right now. They're trying to get as much money as they can to try to get those early chests. Again, using like these macro economy like items are are so good. There's also a speed printer. It looks like they're going into that early. I think yeah. it could be potentially sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes it could be a little bit of a trap to go into a lot of speed early in Commando um, because you want damage early so you could snowball. Uh, if the enemies start snowballing you because all you have is speed, it could be a little bit rough. There is an AP printer, though, and it looks like Ruddy is going for that one instead, which I like a little bit more. Do you think that anybody's going to try to take the the healing active item off of stage one so they can heal with pennies on stage two and like ramp up faster if they know that the vase is also there like is there ever a world where you do that Ooh, i don't think i don't think so it's hard because like i think that could be a situation where it would give them an advantage if it worked out but if they don't get the the skip by stage five and they're going to be kicking themselves the whole time while they're doing pillars or whatever. Um, and that's sometimes, I think, just too much to bear, probably. Yeah. I mean, but how comfortable I, are all these players with doing the the new skips if they find, like, a safer spaces or something? They should be all very comfortable with it. I know that Disputed has spent endless hours practicing it. Um, we try to make sure everyone does their homework, so to speak before the race and stuff, just try to make sure everyone's caught up on all the new tech that we discover. So they should be good. Um, but I don't know. I like where your head's at with that, though, because it would be a way to to get through faster and have a better room. Yeah. Um, 
I personally think that if I found a damage equipment stage one here, I would take it over the vase. Really? Yeah. Like a missile but launcher or something? Maybe like a capacitor or maybe okay. like a saw. Depends. It's hard, though. It's a hard choice. Definitely, no matter what you do, it's it's going to be weighing on you the whole run. Also, um, with phase round, I know not a lot of people like it because I don't know. It's, only, it's fine, but I like it. It's fun. You can get really good pure shots and it has a lot of good AOE. I know a lot of people look at the the tag for it when it says, oh, it only gives 40 percent more damage when it pierces through an enemy. That's a multiplicative damage, um, which is not ever said anywhere, but it is. So if you pierce through one enemy and hit the second enemy, you will proc bans on the second enemy, which a lot of people don't think it's enough usually for that, but you can see yeah, all the racers when they're fighting the Vagrant here. They were piercing through the orbit spawns to get extra damage on the boss. Yeah, it's something that Commando definitely struggles with, especially against flying enemies when you can't hit them with nades and shit. Yeah. To, to proc bans. Personally, it's really nice. I like it. Um, but there's a bug in the game where... Sometimes piercing through targets uh, diverts a projectile upwards. So sometimes hmm. things like that don't always work, especially if you're too close to enemies. Um, but as long as you kind of take your distance away, it's all right. Stage two, Reddy is the first one there, and he finds a void cradle, and he finds the safer spaces in it right oh, yeah. out of the gate. So he actually did leave the vase behind or didn't find it. Whichever yeah, I don't think one. he found it. I don't. Okay. I don't think he ever saw it. Well, either way, he does have. Because he also doesn't space have pennies. Skip, so yeah. So. Yeah. Well, he yeah. actually, he looked like he printed his pennies because I think he was. The oh. One... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But. Yeah, I mean, I like where I like where he's at right now, and he knows. Obviously, I mean, some people in chat don't know, but. In Eclipse, all you need to skip pillars now is one safer spaces. In Monsoon, you need nothing. You just need like two speed items and that's it. So Gross. it's it's crazy, actually. So he knows he has three speed items. He has a safer spaces. He's like, dude, I can just go to the moon and post skip. I just need to worry about damage right now. And also, safer spaces for the Mythrix fight is amazing. Obviously, it's uh, it gives you a lot of free space also that is a tent to bomb on the ground and ready screen that he was looking at i don't know if he's going to take it for sure sometimes when you pick up um void items it's not so much that you really want it or you don't really want it it's more of the fact that if he takes it all of those chrono bubbles that he might get are just going to be thrown right into tent to bobble and he might want the green scrap more there's a lot to think about when you look at those kind of items it's not that you know tent to bobble is very offensive as an item or whatever, but I think I would take it here, though. I think that could lead to some um, good Mythrix fights, just kind of staying back and stunning them. I believe in the Recycler. It's going to show up. <laughs> He's going to get a, a plimp or you... I'm on Team Recycler. I'm always on Team Recycler. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your you're, you're ass taking 20 minutes of stage to <laughs> leave every bad item open just in case you find one. And it works. It always shows up. Magic. It actually does. Surprising. Goji actually picking up the Tenta Baba pretty quick. He did not find the safer spaces near spawn, though. I don't even know if Disputed is. He's near that spot. He's farming whiffs for pennies right now. He he just barely saw the edge of the safer spaces one. I just don't know if he like fully saw it, you know. If anyone misses that safer spaces, that is gonna be really rough for them. Oh yeah. Yeah, safer like... spaces are just like it's it's so it's multiplicative to time save. Like it's oh, it yeah. saves you so much with like being able to loot void cradles faster. Like just everything comes so much easier with it. It's truly a good resource. Mm -hmm. It looks like disputed did exactly what you were talking about. He looks like he took the uh, super massive leech instead of the vase. Ooh, and gets I know he with had a second it. pennies. I know he's uh he's like the one person that races that really tries to make as much use of pennies as possible. So he is really, uh, he's doing it. Yeah. The yeah. I mean, if he, if he does find that spaces too, he'll feel so vindicated in his decision-making. Oh yeah. I just don't know if he's going to go that far back, uh, backtracking. Cause he kind of left that area already. 
Yeah. I know. I think where the teleporter is, you might be able to see it. Because the teleporter, I'm pretty sure, was like along that riverbed. It's on the opposite right side is, of but... Disputed right now. Oh, he finds a yeah. red, and it's Scorpion on stage two. So, Ooh, hey. man. <laughs> it depends which way showing up. he goes around the uh, stage, but he might see it again. Hopefully. Yeah, I mean, Buddy, especially though... with like all the farming that he's doing, too. Mm-hmm. Like, he's probably willing to loot, like, this stage at least, and then maybe start to go fast starting next stage now that he's getting the damage. I think so as well. I mean, Scorpion's a huge bonus, right? You're just thinking, like, okay, that's one thing kind of solved. He has a tiny bit of bleed. He has a little bit of AP round. I mean, he's his build's coming along in a few stages, so it should be fine. He doesn't have to loot all of the stages, but I think you're right that he will loot this one. I mean, he has the money. If he oh, just yeah. went left from here, he would see it. But if he cuts across, he might not. I'm undisputed. We're rooting for you. Oh, he sees it. Oh, there he goes. Nice. nice. Easy peasy. Beautiful. I don't know if um Ruddy's going to go super far back here. It looks like he's looting a little bit more. But I don't think anyone else is going to go all the way to the other side and find the scorpion. It's really out of the way. Yeah, I mean, both of those guys didn't keep the pennies either, so they're not mm-hmm. they're not even super looting. They're not even, you know, trying to probably do that. They're probably worried about just getting off this stage as fast as possible. A little bit of scrapping oh, going on, though. There is a scrapper um, right near the teleporter, so they can do it without, you know, walking too far for it, which is kind of nice. Usually, there are some racers who really don't like scrapping because they're like, oh, it wastes too much time. I could just blind print whatever, but... Yeah. Sometimes with loadouts like these, I think it's it's nice too because you kind of want to get everything you can out of it. Also, there's another AP run printer on the stage, so <laughs> they want to keep their speed. Beautiful. Oh yeah. This is, I wonder if Ryan's uh, gonna go back and get that tent to bobble. Doesn't look like it. No, nah, looks like he's leaving. Ruddy, by the way, for chat who doesn't know, Ruddy is the world record holder for like four world record gauntlet uh, runs on speedrun.com. He is the crazy guy who did the 19 Ooh. minute captain run. Um, and then Doji, he did it happy again as hell. and did went, it went over with the with the vase and, and found the scorpion. He is Look really happy about that. Holy. Awesome. Okay, so Ruddy's the only one who doesn't have it, but does Goji find the saver space? He does. Okay, perfect. And his speed is taking a little bit longer for the teleporter, but he, uh, he'll get through soon. Now I'm kind of looking at Ruddy, and I'm like, well, the only one without the scorpion at this point, so... Yeah, only one without the scorpion, only one without some money-making, but... Only only one other racer has the vase. I mean, it's going to be. I, I, I imagine Goji, if they find any other any other equipment at this point, they'll be giving it up since they should be comfortable with the other skip. But I mean, if you don't if you don't find anything like you just do the easy skip takes way less time. Like. Mm. But. It's hard to say because the vase saves so much time um, oh. at, by the end of a run. It's nuts. Also, Ruddy did find a card on Silver Pool, so it looks like he's going to be looting up a little bit here, but he doesn't have the pennies. It looks like if Disputed finds it, he's going to be way happier than Ruddy is. They all have a Gore's Home, but it still yeah. will take a little bit for him. Um, He'd find a, a gasoline, though, to pair with that ignition tank, so which is we'll huge. be able to just burn through everybody and yeah, make a lot of money. This is one of those stages where if you get here and you don't really have some good AoE, it's really easy to get overwhelmed. Especially as oh, a yeah. character like Commando. Um, who yeah, really somebody doesn't that can easily kill a beetle guard. <laughs> yeah. So that's a really good find. Hopefully everyone finds that, because this might be one of those stages. Especially if they find the Construct boss, um, that AoE will be a savior. So Absolutely. We'll rip through them. Disputed going into the AP run printer as well on stage two. He really is taking his time, but I think that like with the setup that he's got with that, with that money making, I think that if he finds the gasoline on this next stage, I think he's just going to ramp up and just start running it. And uh, he, he could easily catch up. Mm-hmm. 
I just need to scrap the uh, pennies. Looks like he's just going for oh, the uh, the gorgeous yeah. home. So it's 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 go time then. There is a recycler on the stage as well, interestingly Ooh. enough. So if there's like a boss item that they don't like from the teleporter or something, or if they find like a red or some bad greens, they can just do that real quick. Yeah, it's really close by too. It is not far away from this teleporter. It's not so. one of those runs I say is uh, recycler's number one fan who would probably take recycler <laughs> this run. Um, yeah. But I, I don't I mean, see myself keeping a card. I, you're just not going to make enough money to like not. There's very rarely that all three items from a multi shop are good. Like, especially for racing, you know, mm. though, I do have to say their builds are coming along so nicely. They might not really mm -hmm. need to uh, recycle or loot much more before they can just have a good Mythrix fight. So maybe Goji just keeping the vase from here on out is fine. He just kind of starts to go and as long as he feels comfortable doing it may not be bad so there's definitely yeah. some approaches here we can take goji finding the gas as well which is really nice disputed has not found it yet but he's near that area so you should see it soon oh, he marked it he knows and there he goes oh yeah this is a Beetle Queen boss, so yeah, if someone did not have the, the gas for this one, this would be where uh, they'd start having to cope around a bit or something. And even then, <laughs> like, Ruddy is not uh, having a free fight here, but he's trying to stack up bleed as much as he can. He just doesn't have the Scorpion, so a little bit harder for him. Also, looking at Disputed's screen, he's taking full advantage of the Health Shrines. If you have safer spaces, it actually blocks the hit from the Health Shrine, so it's literally free money. Um, there's no reason not to take it. And he goes for the Recycler instantly. Nice. Team Recycler here. Goji taking I was out hoping one of the that Beetle a boss Queens. item would drop. I, oh, I, ho I was hoping that too. it would drop, but didn't, wasn't, we weren't lucky. Got a beautiful Warhorn. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. I mean, depending on what item you have, I mean, with the card, it's obviously nothing, but it can be pretty, pretty solid, especially in Mythrix if you got something decent. Mm -hmm. But they definitely have a build for it. They just don't have the equipment for it. Vase yeah. can use it. It does have a long cooldown, though, but it's a little bit extra damage. I mean, they're neck and neck now. Disputed, like, made up a lot of time. Being a little bit more thorough on the previous stage. He's he's not far behind here. He's 50% behind on that teleporter. Like he's he's cruising. Yeah. He didn't he didn't waste any time on the stage. Found that gas and knew. I've got everything I need in order to to push through every stage and probably kill Mythrix too. Now it just comes to the point of um will he find a vase to save like a couple minutes or is he just going to have to run over, do the host skip, and uh, get there that way? Because obviously that's what he's going to want, for sure. Ruddy is still looting up with the card. He's looting up the uh, the remaining multi-shops there for him, which is not could bad. Could actually get past here. Ruddy had like a clear, clear lead and could actually get uh, somebody, somebody zoom up ahead of him. Disputed might take it. I think uh, Ruddy will fall behind here, and... So probably no fault of his own. It just that scorpion damage is is just too big. Oh yeah, he's gonna need something. Yeah, and the fact to kind that he didn't find it, it, so yeah, he's got a he's got a he he probably feels the necessity to keep looting, whereas the other two players are much more comfortable with just moving on. Mm -hmm. It looks like disputed found another um, chrono bubble via a reroll, so he's actually getting some tenta bubble stacking as well, which means his mythrix fight is looking very easy at the moment. If you can just hold M1 on Mythrix, he's standing still, paralyzed. You're stacking up Scorpion, you're stacking Bleed, life is good. It looks like Goji's actually using the Recycler for a bit here. I think he might keep the vase and take it when he leaves, but he is definitely looking around to uh, recycle a few things. There is a Shatter Splain printer on stage four, <sighs> so fingers crossed. Whoa. And I know Disputed just found a little bit of crit as well, um, Predatory and some crit glass, so he's up to 16%. That would be... That'd be kind of nice to have a little bit of bleed action. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be absolutely <laughs> incredible. I mean, even if like 
they don't even want that because they don't feel the crit is high enough. They got recyclers. They can, they could, they could poke it at, at least once in order to try to get something better. Mm -hmm. Just something random, and then at the very least, you just reprint it back into a shatter spleen if it's not something you want, right? Like, yeah, that takes uh, all of ten seconds. Doesn't really waste you any time. It looks like uh, Ruddy and Disputed and and Goji they all have recyclers. So reminder, the way Recycler works, we custom seeded it ourselves to be as fair as possible. Uh, normally, if you play within the base game or something and you reroll something, it really is truly random. Mm. But here we have um, I know that. like a pre-generated list for every item rarity. And so we have, a, you know, if you reroll a green, it doesn't matter which green, it's going to be the same outcome as a green that I reroll. Right. So, OK. We're looking at a no one's going to get an advantage unless they just don't see an item. So if none of the players have rerolled a green, the next green that they reroll should be a chrono bobble. It should reload, reroll into a chrono bobble is what you're saying. The first one, Since I think, was guillotine. But yeah, this. Yeah, oh, correct. OK, OK, OK. Yeah. The next okay. one would be chrono bubble. The next one would be yada yada. So as long as we're paying attention, we can actually find out what someone will reroll the next one into. Mm -hmm which is kind of cool. And yeah, that's really interesting. The biggest questions some of you uh, big brain chatters may have. Well, what happens if I'm supposed to get a Chrono Bobble and I reroll a Chrono Bobble? Well, we thought of that too. And you actually get bumped <laughs> up on the list. So you get the next item. And then the next item after that you reroll goes back down to the Chrono Bubble. So yeah, makes you'll, sense. you'll just, uh, it's just like the logical solution. Yeah, yeah, pretty easy. More safer spaces, even safer. <laughs> How big yeah. is the like the difference between one and two safer spaces? What is the cooldown difference? Um, I don't remember. It's obviously between one and two is the biggest difference. I think it's like a right. couple seconds. Um, I don't remember the exact numbers though. Honestly, I don't even really personally bother with too many more because one is usually just enough for me. And then I can just kind of push all the other white items I have towards like damage or something. Uh, with if I'm using like regular bears, I'd like to have quite a few of them. Zinc says yeah. 15 seconds to 13 about. Yeah. So like a couple of seconds, sir. Oh, damn. Yeah. So getting like a, a few, if you can find it really makes the difference. But after a couple, it's just. Yeah, you're just you're you're, you're not doing a whole lot for yourself. Mm -mm. Probably more it's... worth to reroll. It's like logarithmic stacking or something. So after like 10 or something, you're saving like 0.2 seconds or something crazy. Mm, yeah. It looks I'm like really disputed. hoping for a boss item, man. Um, I, <laughs> I want to see because that'll, that'll be so much variance in what every player does, you know, like. I don't know. The speed is kind of scaring me. He's hiding behind this rock just to hide from the what? lasers, but he's doing all right. He might have to retreat Wait. a little bit. Did you oh. just see Ruddy? He he got stuck. Ruddy got stuck in plus five. Like that is actually, so unfortunate, man. Actually got it. <laughs> well, oh my god! On. Just uh, like a horde of everyone. It Jesus. was uh, there was a mix of everything. <laughs> Painful. Oh they, my god! There Wait, is a it's boss. A disciple. On, it's a little disciple. They might want to actually oh. keep this one over the shatter screen. I don't know. So this is exactly what Frost was talking about. There will be variants in this. I think we will see someone wow. else take a Shatter Spleen, someone else take a Little Disciple. I, I don't think anyone will re-roll to a random because there's there are a lot of bad boss items. But um, yeah, I mean, ooh. I mean that was the re-roll off the Stone Titan, right? That was the Stone Titan yeah, boss, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Rerolled into the Disciple. So yeah, you can take that or you can take a Shatter Spleen. I mean, okay, look at, look at, Look at disputed. Oh, wait, disputed is taking the shatter spleen or rerolling. But yeah, yeah I meant he's like only got two seconds. He could easily have just sat there the for a second to reroll one more time. Yeah. But yeah, he could have if he's just about yeah, to leave and, anyway. Yeah. yeah, and then just send it back into the printer if you don't like it. I mean, the only thing true. you would want there is like I don't, I don't even know. Maybe a charge perforator. But I mean, I guess I guess molten perforator with the ignition tank wouldn't be terrible, but. Usually, the bleed right now is... I would say that Molten Perforator is not the best in racing because Mythrix usually is just too fast. But mm. Disputed has two stacks at Tempto Bubble, which would actually make Murph pretty good in the Mythrix fight. Right. 
So okay. possible. Chirf obviously is good, <laughs> you know, but I, I think the right call <laughs> might be uh, actually Shadow Spain here. We'll see. It is a lot of damage. It's <laughs> definitely the damage route. Yeah, because also at the same time, I love Little Disciple, but unless you have like an actual build for it, which I don't know if they necessarily do right now, um, nah. it's not going to do too much. You have to scale with it, right? And you also have to like commit to it. You have to run around a lot. Commando for him to do damage, you actually need to stop running all the time. So it kind of lessens it a little bit. If you were Huntress and you were constantly running and you had like some ATGs and more sticky bombs and like stuff like that that just scaled really well. It'd be like, okay, easy choice, no spleen for me, but I mean I don't know the twenty one speed though, crit. right? Like it's yes. Like it's yeah. not they don't have crazy speed. They have decent speed, they have manageable speed, but it's yeah, it's nothing nothing super out there. And with the shatter spleen, disputed is just cutting through these uh, constructs, so no big oh, deal yeah. here. Especially with the explosion damage too. Mm-hmm. Shatter spleen is percent of enemy health explosion damage. Um, so <laughs> it's the thing that will always scale better than everything else forever. Ruddy's looking kind of low here. He's actually getting a lot of value from his brooch and his, uh, is AOE. He actually, it's better than Aegis. Look at it go, dude. <laughs> One brooch chat. Look at that value. Holy. You gotta love it. I mean, yeah, disputed has like absolutely taken off. In terms of uh, just being this far ahead, no plus fives yet. He's looking pretty good here in race one. I'm uh, I'm excited to see if he can get the the skip on his first try with how much time and effort you said he's he's been putting into it. I mean, he's got to he's got this. he's got to do it. He was the first person to do it in the races, arguably with 17 plus fives just yeah. to show it off. But you know, he's ready. It's redemption time. <laughs> but yeah, that's like oh. He's got to be a little bit careful, but that's the thing, like with so much confidence that, you know, you can skip back in the past. We saw people that would sit on stage five for like an excess of five minutes after the teleporter, just being like, I need that skip. But, you know, they're just digging themselves a hole, right? They could have just been done with pillars by that point, but it's tough because like you really want it. Mm -hmm. But now it's like all the time. It looks like, um. Okay, so Ruddy actually got the legendary chest. He stuck around stage four long enough because he just had to deal with that teleporter. He got yep. a brain coat to drop from it, and then he rerolled it to a ceremonial dagger, which neither of which are going to help Damn. in the Mythos fight. Uh, the daggers could help in stage five if he's having a little bit of trouble. You can always shoot the asteroids that fly through the stage, and you get free daggers that way. But unfortunately, Mythrix is kind of kind of a dead item there. Yeah, unfortunate. I mean, I feel like he probably had the feel felt like he needed to try something after plus five. Yeah. You know, he just he just needed to try one single thing. And, and you saw him there. He circled the the printer for the yellow item, and he now walked away. So he's staying with the little disciple. Okay, I mean that's a fair choice though. It's yeah, a, it's a good item. Yeah, and uh, and, and and Goji has it as well. So two oh, players have decided for the disciple, which. I mean, after seeing how fast the disputed ripped through those constructs, I don't know if it was the the right choice. I don't think it's the right choice, but I think it's a fair choice. Yeah, I'll I mean, if you that. look at Goji as well, I don't think that they found any of the crit that the other two players found. Whereas mm -hmm. disputed found the crit glasses as well. So he's, I mean, he's what at twenty percent, twenty one percent right now. Like it's not Correct. terrible. Yeah. And that that mixed with the twenty percent bleed stack as well. So it's like. You know he's he's gonna maintain a decent amount of bleed with the with the scorpion as well on on Mythrix. I mean the shred damage if you can keep a the tent to bobble freezing him as well. Like, whew. yeah, it stage stage one point. and three are just gonna be pretty easy for him. Looks like Disputed did not find another equipment, so he's taking the recycler to the moon here, which <laughs> isn't ideal, right? It's kind of memed upon a lot, but it should be okay. I wonder if there is any equipment on the moon though. That would be kind of nice. It looks like Goji's actually going into a gas burner on stage five because he feels like he needs the AOE. At that point, though, I would have said, like, maybe it would just have been better to get the Shatter Spleen. Um, he did lose speed immediately for it, which is kind of rough. Um, Ruddy rerolls the safer spaces on stage five to a Void Crit, which he did not pick up. <laughs> I Honestly, wonder why. I mean, at this point, I don't even know if it would be <laughs> terrible to pick it up on Commando with the situation he's in. Yeah. 
Speed's I think it's going he, for soup right now. He's looking. He's well, pinging it. This is the area where you get to skip with uh, saver spaces as well. So there's no harm yeah. in just checking it out. Yeah, if might as well. Trying to set up for it. If he goes up that wall, we'll see it. I mean, is there an item that would even be worth it to take? Because with how uh, good your your loadout is, that doesn't. I don't think so, right? Like, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Like maybe drone man. If there was a feather, maybe, <laughs> but I don't think so. Because like saber spaces is your feather, essentially here. All right, now speed's going for it. So if we look on his screen, he's going to try to position himself and look into such a way that he's going to pop up. As he does, he's going to need to do this a couple more times here. There is a wisp shoot at him, so this is kind of scary. If this wisp oh, no. pops his safer spaces on the way down, we could actually see a death here. Okay, space is back. Got All it. Right. You got to okay. do it one more time. At least one more time. Goji is kind of looking low here on the top. It's kind of scaring me a little bit. Hopefully he uh, gets through. He doesn't really have much healing, though. He doesn't have any healing drones like the other guys or anything. So Disputed's almost there. He might need to do one more. Yeah, it looks like one it. One more. Is All that right. just based on how much speed you have? Yeah. So, like, it's just like uh, portal momentum, basically. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. But the speed you have, like, speed items, that determines... Uh, your lateral movement so how he like barely made it under the lip uh, you need a little bit more speed for that because you have reduced air control and you're moving fast enough that's why with when you have zero speed you can't get out from under the lip, the lip and you just can't do it Which oh yeah sucks. look at disputed just hold them in place stacking everything up oh yeah and the, the more he does this, obviously, the better it's just going to be. I mean, this fight's just going to get faster and faster and faster for mm -hmm. him. So, can, Does does Mythrix jump out of the Tentabobble in order to, to jump up? Like, is there no stopping that? Or can you just, like, Correct. technically freeze him forever? The only way you can stop him, really, is if you do uh, the freeze. Okay. I mean, yeah, look at those stacks. Because the, does, the Scorpion doesn't wear off, right? It's permanent, correct. Yeah, so woof. I think the only trouble he's going to have here is just um, phase two, maybe. But he shouldn't have trouble with that, necessarily. It's just oh, going to be the Goji longest part down of the to fight. less than five health. Dude. They're hanging on with everything they got. He's <laughs> they just has that bungus, you know, and they can't really use it. So... <laughs> Oh, my uh, God. I mean, you love to see it, though. You love to see a player never, like, d just every single fiber of their being, never giving up, holding it out. They're focusing here. You can, you can see them. Yeah, because, I mean, they're still five minutes up on ready. So if they keep fighting, they've got a really good shot at getting second here, which is which is huge. So your I mean, first race ever, grabbing a second, that, that yeah. feel good. And looking at Ruddy and Goji, I mean, they're like the same on the teleporter as well. Obviously, there's a plus five between them, but they're like having the same battle right now in a way. Yeah. So it's kind of rough. And Disputed honestly, on I think that battle is the little disciple difference. I think yeah. the reason that they're struggling here is because they're not getting the massive explosion damage from the Shatter Spleen. And yeah, I like it's. I think that I think it may have been in hindsight the wrong choice, but. You never really know. But you were right in that they wouldn't have had a ton of crit, but they did have enough bleed between them, I thought. No, they to they chose needle ticks, so they wouldn't have had extra oh, yeah. chance. It's true. Um, it's actually true. I think yeah, they would have... So there was a, a few choices that you can't know at the time are the wrong choices, you know? It's it's all hindsight. It's all... Mm. It's, all a, it's all a Twitch chatter's dream to let you know that you <laughs> did something wrong. Oh, they <laughs> love it, dude. <laughs> And then they say it, and then they're still wrong. You're like, dude, I get it. Disputed entering phase three right now. Let's see how he does. He's getting a little bit closer. He's trying to bait out a swing, probably. The tender bobble. His saber spaces is intact. He's dodging the shockwave. Well, he did take a hit, but he blocked it. Now he needs to be a little bit careful. He needs to try to focus on Mythrix to keep him stunned. Try to get those M1s in. 
Yeah, I mean, the Shatter Spleen even helps at this point, too. And with, that's uh, a Goji plus five, unfortunately. Oh, and he got slammed man. by a parent there at the end. And that is, I mean, you see their timers now. It is exactly the same, and they are both... I mean, it's going to be a situation. battle for second place at this point. I mean, unless mm -hmm. unless disputed mauls out of his mind, it's not it's not unheard of for disputed to to plus five twice and then get really upset and just keep plus fiving. Oh my but... god, disputed scared me. Did he like slid into the pizza slice, <laughs> broke his saver spaces on a puddle? Jeez. Oh man. Okay, he's going for it. He's keeping him in place as long as he holds M one. Like he should be okay. The thing is that. He doesn't have a ton of speed, and there's a lot of ads that are kind of threatening him. Mm -hmm. And so he feels kind of like maybe not the safest and just holding him one a lot. But Mythrix is the most dangerous thing here. So he's got to like balance it out somehow. Pizza yeah, time. the lack of speed is it's apparent at this point. You think that three goat hoofs feels great until you get to this part and yeah, you feel like you got nothing. If he plays it well here, he can end it. He just lost the saver spaces he needs to be a little bit careful if he messes this up he could die good dodge but this is going to jump to the center i don't know if he's going to be able to pull off a phase four skip he does have a shuriken though so it is technically possible he's going to try to line up he did miss it so it's phase four for the speeded it looks like goji got a poly loot and Ooh. ruddy got an atg so wow. interesting yeah, two poly loops is like insane. Like the difference between one and two is is quite oh, yeah. a lot. So that second one is is going to feel really, really good. And they found the ATG as well. So nice. yeah, still looking good for Goji to possibly uh -oh. get second place. They just got to get off this stage five. Disputed took a needle and that was really bad for him. He actually almost died there. Thank God he did not take the shuriken. He needs to be really careful of these orbs as well. I think they're kind of getting to him. I would circle the other way at this point so that he can just see the orbs in front of him a little bit better. Yeah. But he Once he got the spaces fine. back. Okay. Good, good, good. That was a little scary, though. Goji finding a red whip as well, which is pretty nice, especially through the Tan Wan Mythos. He is going to take the Ocular Hood, which is interesting. He's probably kicking himself at this point for not taking the Shatter Spleen, because now he would have had a good, uh, a better damage for it, so... But it's speeded ending this out, and he's going to get a sub-40 here by the time he uh, charges the ship. So, Oh, it looks like Ruddy yeah. found the Plywood as well. So it really is just battle between Ruddy and Goji right now. See, so he gets second. This is going to be tough, though. It looks like Ruddy's yeah. also going for the gas. Is this bonus points for Disputed? It will be, yeah. Yeah. Way to go. There's no Hell way yeah. they can finish... And like get to Mithrix, kill Mithrix, and then charge the yeah. ship in under uh, I think it's seven yeah. minutes. So we'll see. I mean, the pilots will help though. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, their their Mithrix fights are going to be, I mean, especially uh, especially Goji's because they have the the Scorpion. Mm -hmm. I mean, their their Mithrix fights are going to probably maybe go. I wouldn't say necessarily a lot faster, just because Disputed did have the Shatter Spleen, but and the Tenta Bobble. But it, it will still be quite quick. Looks like Goji is trying to uh, go under the map to try to skip the enemies that spawn on the moon. Just try to get to soup faster without dealing with anything. He's probably going to try to go for the skip as soon as he can here. He is looking at soup, though. He sees a Tesla coil, which I don't think we saw when Disputed checked because he didn't really check. <laughs> and Ruddy is finally out of the moon. And Disputed is done. Congrats to Disputed. Let's bring him in here and uh, talk about that run. Disputed. Hey. Really good run, by the way. Very clean. How do you feel about it? feel pretty good about it. So what was the, yeah, uh, I mean, what was the point where you were good. like, all right, time to go? Uh, when I... Stage three. When I got the Arif effect. Mm -hmm. um, oh, also, Shatter Spleen stage four was pretty fucking powerful yeah you were the only one that decided to keep the shatter spleen the other two really? players kept the little disciple mm -hmm. yeah and it, and it really hurt them on stage five they were struggling to complete the teleporter both of them were like kind of doing the exact same battle where they were getting low and just running around in circles honestly like not even for the bleed but just for the aoe of shatter mm -hmm. spleen 
It's yeah. so much value. And uh, did they find like the crit in the predatory in the cave? They did. I think Ruddy found the predatory, but they did not find the yeah. crit on stage three. Yeah. Oh, and there's a poly loot. That would have been so nice. Koji barely yeah. just missing the edge of the arena by mere inches, and he has to go down and do another host skip again. Hopefully, he does it without getting hit here. Yeah, he's fine. Oh, oh but he did mess it up. Uh oh, and he is getting oh, shot. No. This is yeah. a death for Goji, unfortunately. Unless he can save himself time with the shift it. at the right time. Oh, save space is back up. Okay, he's good. He's good. Oh, man. He did stall a long time there. He needs to be careful. I mean, it, yeah. So what happened at the end, he jumped down and he was looking the wrong way. I think those wisps were kind of bullying him and he got a little bit frazzled. He needs to maybe either have his drone start taunting the wisps or like lose this uh, this attention or something or take them somewhere else before we can host skip. I don't know. There's a lot of wisps here. It's tough. Oh my God. There's so many. Yeah. Yeah, and it's all wisps too. That's like the worst. That is. Uh oh. <clears throat> so what happened there as well? He jumped down to go host skip, and he sprinted a little bit. And he has a little disciple, so he just pulled some aggro uh, when he was jumping. Which I hope they don't aim at him. He's trying to stay under the lip there as best he can. And it sucks too because he was like right there. Like if he could just grab the lip and get up, he would have. But. All right, Ruddy's doing it as well. Oh, man. So close on that one. I got to go one more time. Good, you got it. You got it. Actually. Oh, my God. Oh, you... No. Dang. And they hurt. died right at the end, too. The second time they got up there oh. to the very lip, messed up in the final one. That is brutal. I got very lucky with my enemies. You did. Well, you also got there earlier. Yeah, I didn't have any perfected. I always get worried that an orb's going to shoot me on the way down. But uh, having drones pull aggro really helps here. And you're right, like the little disciple is kind of dicking him over. Yeah, 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 no, seriously. Definitely think that Shatter Speed was the, was the right call there. I wanted a death mark. Like, it's so rare that you actually get Oh, yeah. It, but... I was actually thinking about that, like going into stage five. It was, uh, it was very, very close. And Actually, especially... I think there was one on four, but I took a uke over it. There was a polyloot reroll on stage five that you missed out on. Yeah, that would have been really nice, especially yeah. with all the shatter spleen. Uh, yeah, it just crits the whole polyloot, and it's just amazing. Was it in the seed? Um, I don't know. I know that they had it at the end. They rerolled something, I think. Where were the plus fives? Um, stage four for Ruddy and stage five for Goji. And then obviously you just saw the other one. Mm -hmm. It had a really rough start, but I felt like that run snowballed pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Ruddy didn't find the Scorp. No, that was the big thing. That's why uh, Ruddy was behind a little bit more. Yeah, Ruddy was actually like super fast to get to, I think it was stage three or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then they were the only one that didn't, or he was the only one that didn't find the, the scorpion. And so you you passed him pretty quick because you came onto stage three, absolutely zooming, got the gas, and you're like, all right, it's fucking go time. Like, might mm -hmm. as well just, <laughs> there's no point in stopping now. Yeah, I, I was really worried stage one, like getting a beetle queen there because there were no damage items on that stage. <laughs> yeah, it was just the recycler and the gas and. No. Ready starting phase three, he went in for the really close 
damage at the start. Ruddy didn't also take the Tenta Bobble on stage two either. Uh, he left on the ground early, so and just whether he didn't want to pick it up later or forgot, we don't know. But I think the Tenta Bobble obviously helped you a lot to speed it. The speed mm -hmm. was a little bit rough. So. Yeah, I mean, especially on stage one when there's no ads bothering you. I mean, you're just you just rinse and repeat. Tenta is such a ridiculous item. It stacks duration and chance. Yeah. Two effects, like, at the same time. It's so insane. I usually don't like it, but on somebody like Commando or Captain, I feel like it's pretty good. But, uh, like, the, the Chrono Bobble Slow does help with Mythrix just generally, too. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Ruddy is dodging the golems and pizza. He probably needs to get away from the golems because they're starting to pose a bigger threat. I would just suggest keep moving through the arena a little bit. His uh, little disciple can help take out the exploders, though. But if he stays in the center like he's doing, you see how that golem is kind of like encroaching a little bit. It's a little bit scary. And he's about to finish it off, though. There we go. Phase four for ready. Goji, though, still in the middle of phase three. It's going to jump for pizza. Let's see how uh, Goji handles pizza time. Pizza time. They have like no ads around them, so it's honestly a walk in the park. Plus Easy safer spaces. Pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you you say plus safer spaces and watching you slide into that one piece of slice <laughs> scared the shit out of all of us. Yeah, it put the fear of God <laughs> in me. <laughs> For sure. And not a single ban this run either. No one really got to show off any uh, cool grenade shots or anything like that. Sad. I don't think there's a single aqueduct this entire loadout, right? So nope. no guaranteed bans at all. You have to it's find them yourself. Wetland all day. All there's right. a lot of the same stage over and over again. Ready finding the good portal. Goji starting phase four. Let's see how they handle it. Oh, they got to be a little bit careful. There's that drone flying near them, and it will disrupt Mythrix's needles a little bit. So they need to be really careful about how they approach this. I would like to see Goji uh, start turning the other way at this point because of the orbs, but it's okay if they do not. I almost died in phase four. I know you did. You are very <laughs> close. Those needles, man. One gets you, they all get you. Especially with Tensa Bobble or Chrono or something. He's lucky. Well, it's that, actually. Uh... Huh? It's kind of lucky I didn't have a poly loot because that could have fucked me up oh, very easily. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That sucks too when there's an ATG and it just flies out and you gotta slowly watch it come towards you. You can kind of do some like circle strafe strats uh, a little yeah. bit to help out, but it's hard. Luckily, Goji will not die fall damage here, so it's okay. I know they kind of it was planned. They had a sigh at the end and they're like, "Oh man, don't do this." <laughs> but it's okay. We're good. Good job though to uh, Ready and Goji for both finishing their uh, their first loadout first race let's go claps and chat it takes a lot man and uh it is not easy at all and i think uh it's surprising how hard it is especially when you're going against other people like right in the middle of it so let's bring in ready say hey to them hello ready hey welcome in by the way how was your first you. uh ever loadout in the loadout races god <laughs> It was a bit painful. <laughs> Having not much damage for so long was annoying. I have some bad news for you. Yeah. In stage two. News. Yeah, you missed a scorpion on the other side of the stage from the teleporter. That okay. was the big one. Um, other than that, you kind of got most of the same things. I think um, you missed a crit in stage three, and I think missing out on the shatter spleen instead, yeah. it would have helped a little bit more. But. Overall, the I mean, runner's good. That wasn't, wasn't too slow, so I don't think the spleen would have helped much there. 
Nah, he did good on the Mythics fight, honestly. Let's bring in Goji. Goji just finished as well. Say hi to them. Hello, Goji. Hey. How was your first uh, loadout in the loadout races? Dude, it's freaking stressful, man. <laughs> it is stressful. <laughs> so, you got pretty much everything that the Speeda did, um, except the Shatter Spleen at the end. And so, I think Shatter Stage 5 spin. was rough. It was the printer right when you spawned in. You didn't trade the Disciple. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I forgot that's what it was. Hmm. Yeah. I thought it was something else, and I thought I was like... No, I don't want to go printing for something with my recycler. I'll just keep my little disciple. But, mm. yeah, that was the only like real thing. I know stage five is a little bit tough for you. I know the host skip was heartbreaking twice in a row yeah. right at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> I... it was a little bit. You recovered well both times, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with that many that wisps, like, man, and that I like just figured it out. But it was. A little bit tough <laughs> for sure yeah and also on um, stage five i think you got down to three hp <laughs> yeah that was yeah. insane <laughs> i didn't have any healing and then i found the slug printer raid afterwards and i was like ripping my hair out i was like are you kidding me one slug would have helped so much yeah i was looking at you during stage five and i was like they don't have any healing they have a bungus and they have no healing drones or anything like that yeah. so like you just and I was trying to buy my healing drone backstage four, and I found it right after hitting TP to oh. leave. So, yeah, but it's brutal. I don't know. I don't feel too bad about the run. I mean, my two deaths, I think, were small mistakes for the most part. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, also, did... it's the first load of the day. Uh, yeah, shake out all the plus fives early, and then shake out the nerves. Now you can, you know. Lock and load. Yeah. How did I think Ruddy do? Ruddy did finish right Marginally before better. you. <laughs> like, seconds before you. But uh, it was just the plus five, the extra one, was all. Yeah. Uh, Ruddy had one plus five. But... Yeah, that plus five was <laughs> annoying. Yeah, yeah you got, like, TP. super buttfucked. Like, just, like, a thousand enemies all on you at the same time. Like, you couldn't get out. It was... Yeah. You got actually stuck, which is... A, it's, I don't... You don't see that often. To like actually not be able to move. It's crazy. Well, hey, is the website mm. correct? Just real quick. I, I feel like it's set up for a four person race. Um we can I think it is. Um we'll at Zinc about that. Cause I think Zinc joined and did some back end stuff. You should have three points. Uh we'll get to did that. Did you not later. get two bonus points? It's only one bonus point for a three player. Oh, uh, you it's can only ever get one. Seven minutes instead of five. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? That's actually on me. I can change that right now. Let me do that real quick before we. I mean, still, dude, congratulations on bonus points in general. That's, that's dope. It's a good run. Was the Scorpion the biggest difference there? It was. The Scorpion and then the so Disputed had Shatter Spleen and also a Tenta Bobble. So, like, stage one was just easy as hell on Mythrix. Like, it was nothing. Yeah, yeah the Mythrix fight was free with Tenta Bobble. That mm -hmm. made it so much easier. Um, do I have a minute to just go pee? Just real you do. quick. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. Tiny bit. Yeah, did I? All right, I think the website should be updated in a second. Not yet, but in a second. Hopefully it goes back. Yeah, I didn't, there's like separate profiles we have for the different race types, and I think I just forgot to choose the right one for three player. So thumbs up. <laughs> Good job. Um, but overall, I mean, it was a pretty cut and dry run. I don't, besides the Scorpion, I think that was the only real difference. Everyone took Recycler out from stage three i like there was a vase stage one by the way ready i don't know if you found it um but we were like betting in the beginning who was going to take what and how far but once the recycler showed up i mean that's all it ever was disputed did not get punished by putting down the vase to take the slug in order to farm pennies on yeah. stage two well, immediately gets yes. rewarded with a safer spaces that was exactly the reason i did that yeah that was a good call. Great call. All right, I'm back. Hello. 
No, I literally asked race. I was like, is there ever uh, a world where you decide not to take the vase? And race was like, no, probably not. And then you did it. And I was like, look at me. Amateur yeah, player it. getting vindicated. <laughs> oh, yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about the vase stage one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say, who took, did we all get rid of the vase? I didn't yeah, even take it to stage two. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I yeah, saw it. You were, uh, you were the only one that took to it off stage leeching. one. Wait, what was the other thing stage one? Super massive leeching oh, seat. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, I forgot. Huh, I'm surprised you guys chose that. Well, you, you're always going to expect Disputed to do it because Disputed is a pennies whore. Disputed mm. will yeah. always farm pennies. <laughs> mm. Yeah. And it I works. Like, I mean, it really works. <laughs> I was tempted, but I was just like, damn, I'd rather have four speed and a bleed than uh, anything. Okay, uh, I mean, yeah. we got the website stuff handled, Sulky's on it, and if you guys are ready, loadout number two, Railgunner, yeah? Yeah, awesome. Alright, let's get you guys in there. We'll see you guys after the uh, loadout. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Thanks, good luck, y'all. Good luck. I'm excited for this one. Is this the alternate Railgunner stuff? Not the Not the big shot? Yeah, this is alternate except for the mine. Oh yes, thank God. I, the last, no. the last thing that I casted had the the <laughs> alternate mines, and it was just so embarrassing watching all of the racers just throwing them down to try to to jump around instinctively. It was so funny. It's so painful. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's the only mobility that she has. Just don't take it away from them. <laughs> if you do get a lot of attack speed though you can actually fly around as real gunner just by holding m1 because it actually pushes you back a tiny bit mm -hmm. um which is really fun actually if you get a ton of mythics fights but yeah especially on the moon yeah it's super easy to just float around but here we go on uh titanic plants with hey, and the first gunner. equipment is already wings let's go more mobility Easy. Is a scrapper right next to a bungus printer? Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> Holy, I mean, she is the character that likes to stand still and shoot things. Yeah, if you're terrible. <laughs> or me, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Whatever. sorry. <laughs> Dude, man. I didn't know. Man. <laughs> well, let's see how many items we get this stage, or how much stuff they'll actually go and loot, rather. Are the last random or do you craft them for what's fun? We actually have a randomized role setup. Uh, we created our own like back end randomization system. So every time that you see loadouts, they are random. We don't allow um, duplicates from like the current week or last week. So if we did Merc last week, we try not to have Merc two weeks in a row, stuff like that, or if like whatever, but Everything else between the stages, which are predetermined, and the loadout stuff. Yeah. Shooters with intentionally terrible loadouts. We have some stuff like that planned. Obviously, we have <laughs> we have some terrible, terrible loadouts. You did you were telling me about a torture device you're inventing? Is that is there any word on what that is? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. We do have Maybe some I mentioned surprises, something I wasn't though. supposed to. Sorry, no, no, no. chat. <laughs> it's it's good because you know it <laughs> piques their interest a little bit. Like, what torture devices for racers? Question mark. <laughs> Race was literally saying he was like, just in DMs, he was just like, yeah, I've got a couple of torture devices we might try this week. So, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna wait a few weeks on that, but we're okay. uh, we're actively <laughs> testing <laughs> how how torturous it could be. It's uh. <laughs> It's good. We actually send Pinkertons to the players' houses. It's really <laughs> good. Um, it's just the main problem is Disputed's basement. We got to figure out how to get in there. It's... Yeah, if you get bonus points, you can send the Pinkertons <laughs> to another racer's house. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> or, you know, like, if you're a little bit behind, you can send the blue shell over, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> yeah. That would actually be funny, though. Do some Mario Kart stuff. God, it's, it it does make me sad seeing the alternate M2 as they just like have to fire a hundred shots into the stone titan's head. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit tough. With some attack speed, it can get going pretty well. But the ultimate downside of this M2 is um, it doesn't scale as well because this damage is lower. Uh, you don't have the active reload, which boosts the damage even more. And you don't have the pierce. Oh, okay. Which is ends up being kind of a big deal over time. You do have like, the uh, the alternate ultimate, though, the alternate R to, to mm -hmm. help out with that a little bit, because that is a, a mega piercing thing. It's it's very nice to, for clearing out crowds. Oh, yeah. And also, that's a speed printer right above TP as well that Ruddy's going into. I think that Goji's looking at it, too. They're pretty excited. They have, uh, you know, some bungus. A, a, a bunch of ass. You can say it. <laughs> a bunch of ass. <laughs> But I don't know. They're looking at that slug and they may be thinking like, I don't want to let go of that slug again. Not after yeah. stage five last run, but we'll see. Yeah. And an AP round. I mean, yeah, the, the items aren't aren't that bad. It's it's just uh, it's half of them. When half your items <laughs> yeah. are ass, you kind of you, you get a little sad sometimes. And there is the there is the scrapper, but, it you know, it takes time. They're on opposite ends of the map. You, yeah, it's tough. Or you can just purchase. be like disputed and just send it all. Just send it. Honestly, keeping the Mocha and the Syringe is not a bad call either. Again, that's M1 mobility and also M2 damage. So, Disputed literally just got lucky with the order that he looted. Yeah. Like he, he went and, and found the speed printer, sp printed all of the bad items, and is now finding all of the good shit. I mean, even that brooch is going to be really, really nice. We saw how good it was last game, last run. So, yeah, it's uh, Disputed getting a little bit of streamer luck right now. As you do. Right, they are let's... spending a little bit extra time on the stage, just trying to rack up a few more items. Which is uh, not something that I feel like Huntress normally does, unless you have these alternative skills that aren't quite as powerful as the normal M2. Mm -hmm. That just allow you to rip through everything. Like Loader... Um... You know, there's um, every character that does like Giga Burst will just want to go as fast as possible, usually. But like you're saying, a little bit different with the M2, but ultimately they still have that that special. So it's true. Bosses shouldn't be too bad. If they get a band, I think that's when you know it's absolutely go time, right? But we'll see. We haven't seen a band today yet, so. Yeah, Hopefully with no band in Aqueducts stuff. either. Yeah nothing but nothing but this murky ass swampy ass stage two all day today that's all you get that's all you get <laughs> chat swamp ass did they get something different in the last loadout or something i don't remember no it's literally this stage two all day i'm pretty sure oh yeah it is i'm looking at all of them yeah <laughs> good <laughs> every single one yeah that's our event today actually chat room yeah it's uh it's wetland day <laughs> nice <laughs> I know we didn't announce it or anything, but oh, there's a Hopu Fredder, Feather printer <laughs> on Goji's screen. Uh, they just marked it. It sounded like the the little walkway edge of the map. So I don't know if anyone else is really going to find that. It's really far away. Yeah, yeah, especially if the TP isn't anywhere close by. Yeah, you're not going to find that. Railgunner doesn't move that well. It's not. Uh, you're not coming over to that side of the map very often. So Yo, that's but the double scythe. The... Let's oh go. Oh my god, dude. Huge. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't do anything, but it's cool, right? That's uh <laughs> that's Hopu feather value right there. Exactly. You just turn it right in. It doesn't look like regen scrap, but it's it's pretty close. Let's see if Disputed gets lucky again with the order where he finds all the shitty loot and then he goes and finds the Hopu <laughs> printer. Maybe maybe we just make an enemy out of disputed today. Maybe that's the goal. He's too I mean, lucky. He he's needs already to be my enemy, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. I don't need the RP or anything. It looks like Ruddy is out though. Ruddy unfortunately did pick up a backup mag at the end there. Um, there is no actual value whatsoever for a backup mag with this ability. It is entirely, literally useless. So oh. that's just that. Spewed it, pinged it. 
Oh, there we go. Just we actually went all the way back. So Ruddy's the only one who didn't get the feather, unfortunately. With, by the way, a third scythe. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I think you might just go all in. I don't know. Absolutely, we'll yeah. You have nothing. <laughs> you got nothing there. Because, like, you don't really need crit, do you? No. Yeah. The, the so, way I mean, that crit scales with Rail Gunner, by the way, I know a lot of people don't know this because it has to do with intricate math and cool stuff. Um, crit gives you like half as much value because when you get a crit glasses, right, it's supposed to give you 10% extra crit damage, but it's the crit side of the damage, not total damage. So you get 5% total damage boost, which is the lowest amount of extra damage for an item you can get in the game. For okay, one in the chat of you have no idea what the fuck this guy just said. <laughs> yeah, two if you're a mathematician, big brain genius. <laughs> um, <laughs> so maybe it's the uh, fact that I'm not, a, I'm an amateur in this game. Everybody chat. seems like they're smart. Large. Never mind. All right. It's a very um, small the... bonus, uh, is the point. A watch is four times as uh, beneficial than one crit glass for real good. And there's a band, band on found. Ready's screen. Beautiful. The first band of the day. And I hope they're probably gets the preferred up. one for this character. I mean, obviously, Absolutely. no phase four skip, but yeah. Well, actually, no. Because you have the freeze on your R, you can actually freeze Mythrix through the entire Jaro's band. So you get the full mm -hmm. damage. Oh. Huh. Which is pretty nice. Interesting. Yeah, it's true. Makes sense. Oh, wait. Way, OG it's... plus five. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see, see that. I didn't see it yeah, either. I was focused on the ice band. Yeah, I, I turned away the shiny little item, the little trinket. I was looking at Railgunner's butt. <laughs> there is a uh, sticky <laughs> bomb printer on stage three, by the way, CP. Just literally on Willie's still in chat. Give a salute. <laughs> uh, Rudy's got to be careful here. He's kind oh of stuck God. in the cave AFTP. with it. Yeah, he's got it. One more. Uh... Oh, he hit the uh, the little Shungite instead of the Dune Strider with that. Unfortunately, <laughs> he's got to not uh, get sniped here. I, all the little constructs in here, all their shots bounce off the walls in the cave. So it's a little bit dangerous. Yep. Squid Paul up. Let's go. And Ruddy didn't find the, the feather printer either. So he's just sitting on bad green after bad green. That is tough. I am surprised, <clears throat> though, at the same time, that Disputed and Goji are still on stage two. I know that, um, you know, specifically Disputed wants to live a little bit more with the soda because I think he's a little bit not fond of the M2. But um, I would have hoped he had gone a little bit faster. Obviously, Goji had a little bit more trouble with this stage, though, by the plus five. So I can't blame them too much for that one. It happens. Yeah, we're getting into we're getting into race speed territory right here, you know. <laughs> we're getting, getting into almost uh, 20, 20 minutes. minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're not getting double bosses on stage two, are you really taking notes from twitch.tv slash race? <laughs> <laughs> it's just optimal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially with that with the neural showing up. I mean, disputed might have been trying to look around for an equipment, see if you can get the recycler because Oh, I bet he was, yeah. It was the last yeah. thing he took, so an extra minute to find a recycler just to that that'll zoom you up like you know five ten minutes if you if it's a good item mm -hmm. i mean yeah like charge imagine... charge perforator on on this on this character it goes a long way yeah you want to know something terrible though bad proc coefficient no if you crit with rail gunner and you proc a churf the churf does not inherit the crit for some reason this guy's such a nerd <laughs> It's so sad. But I mean, it still it does damage, you know, it would be nice. Yeah. But that's why I usually Murph uh, can be sometimes in the right situation. <clears throat> uh, sometimes preferred, right? Because you can freeze Mythrix, get the Murph hit. It does crit. Right. Um, but I mean, okay. Churf is still a Churf, right? It still does extra damage. So still yeah. amazing and beautiful. Yeah, I mean, let's Ruddy? see if the other players can find this this band because Ruddy is just making good time at this point. I mean, Ruddy is off to they... stage four. Oh, not yeah. yet, actually. Going a little oh. bit more. Ruddy has hit that health shrine. 
Ooh. all the times. And Ruddy gets a feather. Nice. Right at the end, too. A little never punished there. A little never punished. We love that. I was worried, too, because, like, not having a feather when you kind of want one is kind of such a bad feeling. So I was like, I really want them to be comfortable in the Mythic fight, at least, and have a good one. What is the math on Turf damage? Turf does 500% damage with the 1.0 proc coefficient, so it is pretty good on getting stuff done, and it's a total damage um, modifier, so it does inherit everything except Real Gunner on the crit. It looks like Ruddy's actually going to the gas printer on stage 4. Grove, by the way. Very powerful. Is this... It's, is this it's Grove all the rest of the day, I believe. We're going to get Wetland and Grove for the rest of the day. Great. <laughs> Love that. Just the, the map with the roots on them, you know, and big trees. Disputed finds the band. Love that. That is beautiful. Hopefully Goji finds it because they need something. They need a pickup after the, uh, the plus five on stage two. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Because these racers are not slowing down. They've got a, a hell of a fight. Oh, and here we go. This is actually printing sticky bombs. Uh, he scrapped enough on stage two before he left, I think. Unfortunately, Disputed does get the double boss because he was a little bit late, but it's fine. He's real gunner. He has a band. He has sticky bombs. He's chilling. Yeah, I mean, he just rinsed that first one a lot faster than Ruddy did. So, I mean, looking good. And it's nice that neither of the Dune Striders spawned immediately above them. At least this guy spawned like right outside of the hole so he could walk his <laughs> ass in because it's terrible when you are up top or down below and you got to go to the opposite direction because you got a beetle queen that just won't move. These Dune Striders come for you. On Disputed Stream, we Don't get to that. see. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see a little bit of an interaction there where the Dune Strider will walk into the hallway and then lift up into the wall where you can't shoot him, which is pretty cool. I was really annoying for him there. He's like, dude, just let me shoot the boss. <laughs> All right, let's see if Disputed uh, wants to loot anymore. He's looted quite a bit on the first couple of stages. He's got a decent amount of damage. I mean, especially with those sticky bombs in the band. He, he goes another sticky bomb, grabbing a fourth one. Oof. Didn't lose any of his AP rounds, too, I don't think, because I think he only had two. And I don't think he lost a single goat hoof. Did he just get it? And then he just went for another one with the mocha. Easy. Wow. Is this Rem a never punish moment, chat? <laughs> it might be. Reminder what? on Railgunner's R, right? This one, she has a 1.5 proc coefficient, which is really good. So it's like a 25% chance normally with the amount of sticky bombs he has. And it'll be 1.5 times that with the R. So I'll... Pretty hefty amount of uh, Sticky Bomb chance here. And that's a lot of damage. Sticky Bombs are total damage, and, and they do inherit crit, so. Ow. Almost a 40%, so. Every time. Yeah, they're like uh, midway between crit and ATG or something like that, right? Like, little baby version. Mm -hmm. Ruddy actually losing his watch, uh, I think, to a larva down there. He needs to be a little bit careful. I don't know... He does have the Neural for healing and the Slug, so he should be all right, but needs to be a little bit careful with all the stuff. Obviously, that gas that he printed is really coming in some good value, but there's a look at how many larvae are on his screen right now. <laughs> Unreal. You'd love to see it. Let's go, Sundered Grove. I'm really hoping that um, Goji gets out of this stage soon. I'm really hoping uh, they find... Well, they did find the band. They, I think they're thinking about the sticky bomb printer. Maybe we'll see. But. Yeah, it's tough, right? It's a, it's a. You, you already have pretty decent items, but like we said, it's half ass. It's half of its ass, half of it's great. So it's mm -hmm. you press the button, you might lose the good stuff, you might lose the bad stuff, and it's nerve wracking. Yeah. Especially already with one plus five, you really don't want to. You don't want to do anything that hurts you at this point but you also have to take risks so it's like oh yeah catch 22 and get it's inside really your own tough. head like every racer that gets a plus five they they kind of think in their head what do i do how do i win this how do i come back and a lot of people will choose just trying to make their run different in any way that they can some people will just be like all right 
time to just send it full send it hopefully you get like speed runner luck and get all the items we need to the teleporters mm -hmm. or whatever um but it's hard it there's never honestly truly a right answer with foresight only with hindsight will you ever really find out like oh right. I, I guess i could have gone faster or i guess i could have done this weird thing or whatever but or if you're disputed you just do the weird thing from the start yeah and then yeah, yeah. and it works it works well <laughs> You get good at the weird thing, and you're the only one that's good at the weird thing. You're the only one that can do the weird thing. And then if the items are ever only weird thing, look who's winning. That is true. He finds a way. And that's another plus five for Goji. I feel so bad for them. They're going to take a, a second. A second. Yeah. yeah. It's nerve wracking in the first races. You know that there's a, a good number, a good couple hundred folks watching you and I mean, it's uh, it, it definitely is nerves. It, it's all nerves. I remember the first time I did Twitch Rivals, and I was on a team with, like, Sneaky from C9. Like, for the first eight games that I played with him, I was just vibrating, like, my <laughs> mouse. I was making so many mistakes, and so I, 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 I know exactly what they're feeling right now. It's, it's tough. It's tough, it, especially when you make a mistake, and then it, you're just like, oh, damn. It's it brutal. Mm -hmm. It's... The whole experience basically is just learning how to be comfortable on stage, right? And just mm -hmm. how to get past it. And um, yeah. And obviously it's like a, it's a personal thing too. Cause like you want to go up there and you want to do well, you've been practicing a bunch, you know? And so like, you don't want to disappoint yourself either. Not saying that they have, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm sure that's what we'd all be thinking. It's like, we want to yeah, do good. It's all, it's all self-critical shit. It's, it's all what you're thinking of yourself it doesn't I think it doesn't even matter what other people say at this point you know it's mm -hmm. all being you're all being down in yourself and you shouldn't be and that's why sometimes it's tough because they're all of these races they're just in a call alone sitting there with their thoughts <laughs> thinking sometimes we do like the co-op races and stuff and like you know you have a teammate being like oh don't worry dude we'll get them you know we got it you're doing great here you just have yourself and you're just like, why would I fucking do that? I'm an idiot. Like, <laughs> I haven't done that in 25 runs. I'm so much better than this. Yeah. Yeah. It's really easy to get in your own head. Yeah. It's half, half it's mental stuff. Yeah. Running and disputed though, neck and neck. I mean, they, they really both are. They're just doing got the to stage five. Thing. Yeah. Both charging up and waiting for the Zy construct across the map to stop moving. Like it's, if you look over at either of the streams, it, it you could think that the other one is the other. If you're if they're scoped in and you're not looking at the color of Railgunner's ass. And then Disputed uh, gets a fire band on the right side, exactly where Ruddy is looking right now. That chest on his screen under the Z construct, that is a band. So hopefully he goes over there and finds it. It would be really nice. That's a really nice phase four skip for everyone who's very cool and paying super close attention you heard it here first if you phase four skip you're really cool yeah it's true i didn't is know it... the alternate m2 did enough damage or is that the shuriken so it's proccing bands uh alternate m2 does enough damage on so it's exactly enough damage actually really okay is that only when you hit in the the hit marker no, it just does 400% base, which is oh. the Ooh. the band minimum. Yeah. Goji is still struggling in stage four here, though. They're only they only just started the TP, which has me a little bit worried. They did beat the boss, though. Yeah. So that's nice. They're but shaking these their head a lot. Are, uh, are I think really they're getting them. Yeah, they're they're being pretty down on themselves right now. Letting that tilt settle in. And another feather for Ruddy, so extra unpunished. <laughs> Guess it just doesn't matter if you see a feather printer or not, or whatever. <laughs> Disputed is scaring me a lot here, though. He's stuck in the grandparent orb, and he's getting blasted. He actually had to use his wings to get enough speed to get out of it, which has me really worried. He needs to probably... I know he doesn't want to, but Disputed might have to stand <laughs> further away and just uh, shoot the grandparent from a distance and then go in after because it's something that looks like he can't really deal with at the moment. But there is a syringe printer on stage 5 as well, which would be good for their M1 and M2, but I don't know if 
either Ruddy or Disputed want to really give up much of what they have. I know Ruddy went into the Watch Printer in Stage 4. I don't think Disputed found it at all, though. The Watch Printer is a little bit risky, though, for Ruddy, considering he does not have an Elixir. So hopefully Ruddy does not get slapped by anything. That would be a lot of damage and items to lose. Disputed did decide to take your advice back up. Mm -hmm. Didn't pull a woolly gaming and uh, just stay inside of the TP zone every time, no matter what. That um, rock is brutal, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, honestly, doing pretty clean here. Should be getting off the stage before 25 minutes if they want, if he wants to. And I mean, that might be the choice. Damage is high on both players right now that are in the lead. Mm -hmm. I it's mean, it's a race to the finish line at this point. At the end of the day, it's Rail Gunner. They both have wings. They both have feathers. They're both. They should be both very comfortable with the Mythics fight with this kit. So, who gets the lead first, and who gets there first? Goji Will still ready in... to break those watches is the question. <laughs> That's it's scary. Uh, Ruddy was able to stand there because the sun is actually um, a line of sight dependent. And so the sun actually spawned behind that little pillar statue in front of him. So he was able to kind of sit on the TP itself and be perfectly fine. Ruddy, <laughs> sorry, Goji taking another plus five in the teleporter. This is getting really rough for them at this point. There is a, a natural spawn Dune Strider that just showed up and that said, hey, <laughs> which is not super cool. Honestly. Damn. Unfortunate. Disputed first onto stage six. Um, he was not first onto stage five. So once again, passing Ruddy at some point. I think Ruddy, this happened to the last race as well, where Ruddy was in the lead and disputed past him. So impressive to see the disputed knows when and how to put the pedal down and, and realize that it's enough enough damage is enough and and it's time Absolutely. to go. And it's 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 a testament to the to the uh the the age of the racer you know the seniority of it all uh, i think it it's it just shows that disputed is has been here a little bit longer and knows exactly when to call it cuz now ruddy's going around and looting a little bit more hasn't found the the kajaros i don't think so hopefully he'll find that before he dips off and we can see that too because looking at disputed's build it's great he has two bands. He has a couple of sticky bombs, a little bit of speed, a couple of feathers. That's enough. Um, Ruddy, is, he looted a lot at the start of the stage, and he's looting a lot now. It looks like he did scrap as well, which also takes extra time. It looks like he's maybe looking for something in soup or something like that. He does have five green scrap. So hopefully he does not lose his watches right here to these constructs. He almost just walked into that and uh, lost them before he left, which would have been actually terrible. <laughs> Yeah, very punishing for deciding fight. to loot a little bit more. Yeah. Ooh, I mean, he would have killed himself for that one if that happened. Goji finally able to finish the teleporter on stage four. Hopefully they don't die again here. Uh, there Let's are a Goji. lot of enemies there. Uh, Goji's definitely looking at that void cradle here. They want to be a little bit careful in interacting with that, though. There's still so many golems with lasers everywhere. <laughs> You just see off in the distance, the horizon is just filled with the silhouettes of danger. <laughs> oh, man. Also, Disputed is actually doing very well here. He actually held off on shooting Mythics with the M2 for quite a while there just to get the good shot in with his uh, special, which is really important. He did mess it up a little bit on that point, but this can allow him just to do some more damage. Is that just waiting until the armor buff wears off? It's waiting until that, and also um, you can proc the band with the heavier hit. Mm, okay. You just want to make sure you... Because um, it's total damage base, so you just want to get as much as you can. Phase 2, this should be very, very easy for Railgunner. Sit at the end of the stage and just blast the uh, the Wisps like the speed's doing now pretty easy. Ruddy is on the moon. It looks like Ruddy is going to go for soup, it seems like. Um, if I were ready at this point, I would probably maybe start using the wings. Yeah, there you go. 
I don't really think Ruddy needed soup, but we'll see what's here. Ooh, uh, that is a laser scope. That's great. That could make up a lot of time if you can get With up to the moon really the fast now. Yeah. Could be really good. Actually could catch up here. Needs but to Ruddy get, needs to start took moving, us moving up. Though. What Ruddy yeah. should have done, stayed at soup and just started going up there. Because um, you can pretty much make it at that point. Well, actually, Ruddy doesn't really have any attack speed like Disputed does, so. I guess they were just going to plan on using the tree anyway. Does still have the uh, never punished amount of feathers to carefully land their way up on the branch. It looks like Goji is going all into watches right now just to try to catch up. Goji has 10 watches. Uh, and that's I mean, also... you were saying earlier I, about I know doing what something saying. different. You that know, is different. It, <laughs> yeah. you love to see it. I just hope they don't break them. That's all I hope. I mean, from an entertainment standpoint, too, if you know, like, I might be in last place right now, let's give a reason for people to put their eyes on me. Yeah. <laughs> let's get in there, dude. Yeah. I right, let's see how Ruddy to. does. Let's see if let's see if he can speed things up. Disputed definitely slowing down just a little bit on this stage, but I mean, it's about to one more one more R here. As soon as Mythrix jumps back into the middle, just clear stage four real easy and clear through phase four super fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip, bang. He's just holding on. He's gonna hold until Mythrix jumps. Here it is. Looking at Disputed, he might have enough damage to skip phase four right now. Just not off, enough. Just off. If he kept shooting, I think he would have done it. But he, yeah, he chose this to be okay and wait a little bit. Yeah, because it's it's either you wait now or you have to do an entire waiting through the phase four wind up time and then doing phase four. I mean, that's a crazy amount of time. And then you know you could always just flub there and instantly get a plus five. So it's better to be safe there, honestly. Because I mean, he knows that he's still making great time regardless. So it's better to not make a mistake at this point. Does get the skip easily. Yep, there he goes. Ruddy into phase two right now. Just got to finish off the last vestiges of Mythrix. There we go. And Dispute's done. He's looking for the good portal here. Hopefully he gets it. Hopefully everyone gets it. <sighs> Ruddy's damage is so good with the laser scope watch combo, though. Yeah, it's Disputed actually correct. insane. He knows which portal is the next best. The one that goes um, clockwise above uh in the middle not the one on the ground level yeah it blew my mind the first time i heard that the portals weren't random yeah <laughs> i had a sneaking suspicion one day i was like these don't seem that random it was only a few days after the update and i had someone i requested nicely that someone see if they can map out all of the portals for me and they're like yeah you're right mm -hmm. they are not random and here's a map and i was like cool <laughs> thank you and we use that map for a very long time just to uh just to see which was where or whatever God, look at that damage on ready screen just phase three already a quarter down with one ultimate that's that's good shit that's some tasty damage and obviously he's got the feathers so he's he's fine here he's not in any danger whatsoever He's using actually his M1 to slow his descent as well, just to stay in the air as much as possible. Just going to be using his special uh, when Mythrix is running at him to do pizza. Boom. He's got to be a little bit careful, though, because he is shooting shurikens, and I'm worried that the shurikens are going to start stealing band procs from him if he's too close enough with the R. Because the R, when you click it, it will shoot out a shuriken, and then a second later, then it will shoot the laser. And that's mm -hmm. usually enough time for you to lose out on the big damage because the shuriken hits and prox bands first. So what you need to do is you need to turn away from Mythrix, click the ability, and flick back on him uh, to get the big damage for the band. Unfortunately, he's just kind of not doing that as much right now. As long as he survives his pizza, though, he'll be fine. He got nervous just like Disputed did with uh, finishing him off. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, after you phase four. Oh, let's bring Disputed in, by the way. It's not going to be too bad. Hello, Disputed. Hey. Good run. How'd it feel? Oh, awesome. 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the runs today are not they're not they're not super tough yet. Till we it's get to coming. Blight, but it's till coming. we get to Blight Town. Blight Town's gonna be a great one. We're gonna collect all the plus fives. I mean, you I have you say that, but watch it just be the best loot ever. <laughs> is there really a best loot scenario for that? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Drone man. Drone man into the course. Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> just yeah, just getting things that have nothing to do with your ability. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I didn't basically. know if there was like some nice synergy to have, no. but no, it's literally Wrong. just. Okay. My bad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Amateur player here. How bad? Everybody laugh. Yeah. It was you good fooled. though, Speeded. You had the feather printer, you had speed, you had AP rounds, you went into the sticky bombs, you had bands, and then, you know, you were just like, all right, time to go. And then you did. And yeah. obviously it was a good fight because it's Drill Gunner, so congrats on that one. The sticky bombs are kind of bootlegged area of effect. Mm-hmm. I struggled a little bit, stage five. The Shungite, you know, they'll they'll get you. Yeah, dude. It was okay, Goji though. has not been enjoying this race. They this loadout specifically has been a little bit tough, yeah. We're going to have to pull Goji out once uh, Ruddy is finished, unfortunately. As much as I want to see them compete this or complete this loadout, because they deserve it. But uh, Ruddy was actually really close to right behind you, Disputed. Ruddy, though, looted a little bit too much Stage 5. Uh, they did get the Watch Printer Stage 4, which I don't know if you saw. And then... I did not. They got a laser scope on Soup. So they had a, quite a bit of damage, but they missed out on the Fire Band, and they didn't have the Sticky yep. Bombs. And you went I had faster. a feeling. Yeah. The Fire Band was so out of the way. Yeah, you uh, you got lucky because you went towards the construct at the start of the uh the yeah. stage, and that's it's just like right there. Yeah, it was it was honestly just if you picked that direction, you would find it, but most people probably wouldn't because the teleporter is never gonna really be over there, unless yeah. you see it. Like you would see it right from from where you spawned in if it was, was gonna be over there. There's usually less loot over there too. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna bring in ready. Uh, Dispute, if you want to go tell Goji very kindly that he is allowed to uh, concede. You, wait, you want me to do that? Maybe you want. I, I don't know if anyone else here has permissions or whatever. In the, oh, okay. The racer call. That's all. Short. Hello, Ready. Hey. How was that one? How was that loaded up for you? Yeah, it wasn't too bad. I just played it way too slow. You I think you weren't that you weren't that far off. You were okay. not. You were well, you were pretty close. Uh, disputed, only coming out ahead by like two minutes, two and a half minutes. Okay, all right. So it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, you both yeah. were really neck and neck up until like the end of stage five. So it was like it was it was really right. good. I, okay. I assume I can concede. Yes, you can. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sorry, Goji. I know that run was a little bit rough. <laughs> It was it was the stage four, right? That was the one that started to like, or was it was? I mean, mm -hmm. I died stage two from. Oh, like, that's right. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, I really struggle with rail gunner. I I cannot wrap my head around having to scope in and scope out. It's like I practice it, and I just like it's it's like you zoom into another world, and then you get trapped there. And like, how do I get out <laughs> of this world? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think especially with that m2 it really it kind of kind of keeps you in a little bit you know yeah yeah so i need to grind it out but i knew going into that loadout it was going to be a struggle for me i know you said before we started today that you were not a fan of most of the loadouts today or i think all of them i, I would say these are four of my worst uh i think the commando one i'm good on the other three are like maybe three of my worst loadouts in the game I'm so. sorry. I mean, obviously they were just <laughs> randomly. Yeah, rolled, it's just but... bad luck. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but uh, gotta give him my best. Uh, were there any other bands or crowbars? There that... was. So no. at the start of stage five, um, if you had gone right uh, down to like the thin uh, wraparound like pathway under yeah. where the Z construct was, there was a band sitting right there in a the large chest. Um, the fire band. So face worse gets oh, as well. Fuck. 
which Disputed luckily got. Um, but not much else. I mean, you were the yeah. only one who found the laser scope, I think. No, you, Ruddy, and Goji, you both found the watch printer. Disputed did not, actually. But Disputed went mm-hmm. more into the sticky bomb printer stage three. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I think for you, Ruddy, I think you spent a little, a lot of time looting stage five, actually, in the beginning and end of the stage. Disputed, I think, went right to TP. Um, he yeah. struggled a little bit with the grandparent. Um, but once he got it done, he pretty much just kind of left. And I think right, it was yeah. like a minute or two. Or you're still looting, but you did get like, you know, a laser scope out of it and some other stuff, so. It was How many it's hard to say. Did Ruddy get? Five. 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 Hmm. I know yeah. you were trying to make up for the plus fives and you went to ten watches. Oh, you were I mean, Jesus. I knew the run was dude. over at that point. I was I was kind of just playing along, honestly. I was like, I I doubt either of them have plus five to three times before stage five. So You never know, honestly. Yeah. It's always the runs where not... But the thing you is, think. I did figure out, I was like, I was like, if that was the case, I might as well get 10 watches and just have giga damage and like that be the way I come back. Yeah. But, you know. I think it was a good call. It was, it was a fun call to see. It's like, oh, dude, yeah. they're going all in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we have another, I, not, I wouldn't say infamous loadout today, but. You know, it's one of those loadouts. Uh, Flamethrower Artie's coming up next. How do you guys feel Hell about yeah. that one? Let's go, Artie! God. <laughs> Even less mobility! Let's go, dude. <laughs> well, if you guys are uh, ready, um, feel free to, to hop in. Yep. We'll see you on the other side. Good luck, right. everybody. Good luck, y'all. Alrighty, loadout three. I'm excited for this one. I like Artie. So obviously we're looking for ignition tank on <laughs> this run. So yeah, oh yeah. We'll see. Game if we of the get game, it. right there. And this is pretty much this is exactly the same stage order, right? Did we? Ha- oh, we had uh, planes last run. Never mind. Yeah, but pretty much it's the same stage <laughs> two, three, and four. So. Exciting. A lot of similar stages today. Again, not, not a lot of variety. Rolled, but, you know, sometimes it's actually better for some racers sometimes because they can kind of get used to the stages a little bit more. Um, but I don't know. I don't like these ones that much. So <laughs> <laughs> I not prefer them anyway. There are stages that are better to win with if you don't know there's like there's a lot of economy stuff with the stages with what they spawn what kind of items they spawn how many credits these stages get for spawning items and things the weights on like certain items and things some stages are just more likely to spawn um like heavier credit options that aren't items that you can actually even get so it's like there's some things to think about and usually there's a pretty usually optimal path to get if you're just trying to get the most stuff. Um, it's Siphon Forest, it's Aqueduct, it's Scorch Acres, and it's Abyssal. And those have the, the highest chances for good boss items, most amount of credits, most amount of loot. Um, they have equipment try shops as much as they can, etc. None of these stages have any of that. So, <laughs> Silver Pulls uh, at least has the Crimin Trash Shops, which is nice. Yeah. I will say. Or more sticky bomb printers. And uh, there was double combat chests in the middle of like the, the basin there. So, Ooh. actually, some pretty decent loot to start out. Speed as well. I Artie mean, does like sticky bombs. So, really, really, what mm-hmm. scales well? Burst. And those icicles okay. are bursty. Usually. Right. Um, sticky bomb is very expensive when you consider it in your build. Like you need a lot of them to use them a lot of the time because they're only five percent per um to proc. But if you have something burstier, if you have a lot of proc chain ability, right? So if you have like ATGs, right? 
that you can proc off of ATGs, which is a good multiplier for that, which is already a multiplier. If you have good bursts, they'll do they'll multiply well off whatever the burst is. I like um I like a few sticky bombs already here, but it is a little bit early. Like I said, they are a little bit expensive, so I don't know if they'll go into them. I don't know if they'll favor them over something like speed here. Speed yeah, seems I mean, like speed and a slug too. I mean Yeah. Those are like two major items that you just want you want a few of and you don't wanna don't wanna give up early. And a watch as well, uh, for ready, so even I mean, this stage all the one is reason. not looking bad, man. No. Not a diversity of items. There's no real bad path. Another combat chest that, that yeah, that's where the, the watch is. But I mean, that's three combat chests on this stage. And the other chests aren't lacking good items either. It's it's cool to see. It's nice. Fortunately, we didn't get like an overwhelming amount of like wood shrines or chirones on this map. So we did roll pretty well in the chests. So that is yeah. nice. Disputed was like sticking up on the ledge at the beginning for a few like like solid like 20, 30 seconds. And I was like, maybe he's going to like try to build up a bunch of drones because that's pretty normal for this map. And then I think he <laughs> saw the double combat chest down and it was like, OK, never mind. There's actually loot. Yeah. Sometimes with some maps um, and it doesn't happen all the time, but there's just like a real chance that you can get like four items at a stage <laughs> one. And it's like, man, you know that that kind of. Oh, sucks. my God. And a ukulele. Wow. Oh, man. This loot is great. <laughs> and, and a, a feather. <laughs> oh. oh. On the 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 flamethrower artificer finding a feather is huge. It's massive. It, it yeah, just, wow. It goes from feeling a little bit maybe uncomfortable if you don't use it that much to instantly you're comfortable and you're back in the game. You can float yeah. with it too. You're you're in. You're good. Yeah, because you don't like a lot of feathers on artificer, do you? Like because of the it like it was annoying with the floating and stuff. It's annoying, and a lot of people don't like it, um, but I've gotten used to it over the last while. I feel like since I've been doing, like, modded Mythric stuff, I feel like I'm mm. pushed to feel like I need to use it a little bit, but I totally get not liking it at all. Um, mm -hmm. You pretty much have to use your feathers immediately, so on, on the way down, you can control yourself better with the float, right. which is a little bit better, but it is uncomfortable if you're not, not used to it, which... Yeah, the flamethrower on undisputed screen with the ukulele. I mean, it just looks incredible. It's there's actual damage on this character with the with the <laughs> flamethrower. It's happening. That's crazy. Hopefully, We'd everyone does find it. that uke. I think it was pretty near TP ish. Yeah, it was kind of tucked off in the corner though. Ooh, even a crowbar. It looks like Reddy's scaling with the watch. It. Yeah, oh, Reddy yeah. just found the uke. Oh man. Damage on this stage is nice, and there's decent healing, and there's decent mobility. Whew. God damn. That's love beautiful. To see that. I'm going to... Yeah. I want to see if anyone checks the blue portal out to see if they want to to cycle the, uh, the soup in there. Like with everything else in our custom modding, uh, blue portals are actually seeded as well. So if the, the first time that you go to a blue portal, it will be the same time soup as the first blue portal someone else goes into no matter when they do it so if i go there stage four and you go there stage one and it's both our first blue portal it's going to be the same stuff so some people like to cycle it and try to just like keep pushing that uh, forward to see if they get things in soups that maybe other players aren't going to have access to because they're not cycling yeah. as much as they are and, but the downside is we made time still run in the bazaar. So you are taking a hit, actually, for it. It's not free. It does take I about none like of the 20 players... seconds. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Think, I don't think any of the players wanted to go in there. It's kind of hard in the beginning, too, because it's not like they have anything to give for the soup anyway. They're pretty happy with I mean, their yeah. items. <laughs> I was going to say, especially with this, Lou, this, yeah, ain't no way. Absolutely not. And we're back to wetlands, so... <laughs> Let's go, wetlands! This has been kind of... I would say kind of a deciding stage for a few people today. Ruddy in loadout 1, not finding the scorpion. And that first death for Goji last loadout as well. Just kind of uh, hitting him a little hard. Scrapper right off the bat, too. Right as you come into the stage. Getting rid of the... the it's, it's like imperative to find a scrapper when your items are... are this good 
You don't want to get rid of any of them. Yeah, so it's it's nice that like the few bad items that you have, you can single out and yeah, maybe maybe throw into even more good items in the future. Because I mean, that's the only reason that nobody grabs sticky bombs. Well, I think Disputed might have been the only person to see it, but I mean, either way, like mm -hmm. only reason that he didn't go into it is because the other items were good. So first equipment, ooh, Crunder. I think Crunder has potential, but I doubt they'll actually keep it that long. Yeah, I think there's gonna be just be something else. I mean. Obviously, they're still looking for a post skip. Um, they don't have Iron Surge, so they can't just jump up anymore. I know, it, like, all the time when I'm playing Flamethrower, I just, I always forget. I get to the moon, I'm like, oh, I can't skip pillars <laughs> or something. Like, I, I'm so used to being able to do that uh, just as Artie, but. Yeah. So, obviously. And there's a good reason to dump the scrap. Moon. Yeah, Opal. Grabbing huge. a couple of Opals, not bad. Ready, already starting the boss. Once again, Ruddy taking the lead early on seems uh, very, very normal for them at the for, for in this point. Like it's, it's, it's cool this to is, see. This is he, where the speed got... runner mentality comes in. Right. Yeah. Because Ruddy is like a pretty, really, pretty big speed runner. So it's mm -hmm. if he can keep this momentum like going into the 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 final stages, I think that's like the key. There is that he's he he in like stage four and five tends to slow down a little bit. But I think if he can keep the speed up. You could probably take this one. That's just the thing, though. The The difference between speed versus acceleration, you can go really fast, but if someone else is just building up such a kit and then they can just speed by you just how fast they can go later, it's interesting. Um, let me see that sometimes. I think Loadout 1 was a perfect example, obviously, but this is a pretty bursty kit, so... We'll see. Oh, Void Cradle. Disputed grabbing it. And it's a one guess. That is nice healing. Um, but obviously yeah. not what he wanted to see. Right? He's yeah. like, where's the poly loot? Where's the plasma shrimp for the saver's faces? Especially because it, it was like off to the side. It was a cradle that yeah. you know that not, not every player is gonna find. So you get more excited about those. And yeah. Disappointing. Yeah. Another equipment barrel there. Did he see it? I hope he so. Did. Chrome barrels are huge. One of the things that really make a, a loadout race, they're very, very impactful. I don't know if he opened it. Oh, it looks like Disputed is going for the newt here. He's going to try to cycle uh, his blue portals. So we'll Let's go. see something there. Eesh. Not the equipment you really want to see. No. Looks like he's taking over the crunder, though, actually. No, he's saying back. He's like, ah, that was a mistake. <laughs> Ruddy does the same thing. He's he's thinking about it. He's like, nah, I want the crunch rate. Goji actually has an opportunity here to, to potentially take the lead. They're finishing up the boss fight, and if they can get the TP charge, everybody uh -huh. else is kind of taking their time looting. I mean, especially Disputed hasn't even started the teleporter. There's a there's a serious chance here for them to be a big contender here in this race. It's good to see. Not letting the mental uh, keep you down. Well, look at Goji. They are focused. You can see it yeah. in their eyes. They're like, all right. Oh, yeah. Listen. When the face ducks behind the microphone, oh, you know, yeah. like, is, is <laughs> yeah. For me, it's, it's like it's I slouch down in my chair. If you come onto my stream and you can see a quarter of my forehead and that's it, you know <laughs> that I'm focusing. Yeah. Disputed finally starting the boss fight, but I mean, he has a lot of damage at this point. I mean, look two how much gas, gas two and crowbars. And, oh, he's, he's looking good. Yeah. Ooh, look at that explosion. Beautiful. <laughs> Ruddy yeah, being the first to leave the stage, worried. though. Goji's Super not going to be pools. far behind. Wowee. We're back. It it's is the last day, Sulfur baby. Pools, though. Oh, no, it's the last one. The last one is, I, I don't remember what it is. I just know that it was only the first three were Sulfur, pool, sulfur Pools. Oh, it's Scorch Acres. Nice. Very yeah. Cool. A lot of similarity today in the maps, but only only Wetlands gets all four out of four. <laughs> Wetlands the goat. By the time they're doing the last loadout, they're like, dude, I'm never going to play Wetlands again. Hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through every newt portal. Fuck this shit. <laughs> okay, let's see how long Goji tries to, to loot around here. They've got an opportunity to dip off the stage. Wants at least this one chest. It's a crowbar. It's pretty good. It's worth it. 
I'd say so. I'm looking over uh, Silver Pools as Ruddy is kind of looking around it. And honestly, I just don't really see anything really that impact right now. There is a, an equipment tri shop here. It has another Crunder in it, which isn't too exciting. Um, Double Beetle Queen. Let's go. <laughs> this should be fine. Uh, a couple of you may have noticed there that when Ruddy was in the face of the Beetle Queen, she shotgunned him in the air and he did not take any damage. Um, I just want to point out that the orbs that the Beetle Queen shoots do not have a hitbox at all. So if they hit you, they don't actually do anything. It's when they hit the ground and explode, that's when they deal damage. So if you just jump, oh. you'll always be fine. Thumbs up. I didn't know that. Yeah. Learned something new. I didn't even see what was in the, the new portals. The Spewed was in and out so fast, I oh, glanced I... away for half a second. <laughs> yeah. I missed it too, damn. If chat saw chat it help. and they want to yeah, help, <laughs> please. I tried to look and still didn't see. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> I don't know why Disputed is doing this. He's getting a second slug uh, from a printer, but he does have Wungus, and he does already have a slug. So I would have thought that was enough healing. I think maybe he forgot about the Wungus or something. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, especially if you're trying to cycle the the newt as well, like you're, you want to keep a couple of scrap, but yeah, it is also dis disputed. The king of of interesting and out there builds. Yeah, he's going for it. You never know what's in that uh old dementia to brain. He's gonna heal Mithrix to death. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna find the Nukahana's opinion. Holy! <laughs> Another Second ukulele. ukulele. Yeah. Ow. The thing is, Reddy doesn't really have a lot of money at this stage. He just spent it all in kind of the shrine nearby. He's kind of maybe hoping he can get some money here from the health shrine to get him a little bit more. But honestly, yeah, I mean, the, he's going to leave it that the much. They have the saws though, which is going to be nice if they can if he can do the the, the saw tech on mm -hmm. on Mithrix. But it's hard to do. Looks like he's going to end up taking the Ocular. Oh, he's bouncing between the two. He, ooh, he's fighting. Okay, he's going to take the Ocular. The saw, I mean. <laughs> there he goes. Boom. Oh, Gorst home. Look at the tech. Look at the moves. Yeesh. Holy. That's what we like to see. Saving money for next stage. Back to Grove. Let's see if there's anything cool on Grove. There are no um, equipment multi-shops. So he's just going to be looking for equipment on the ground if he's trying to look for a base still looking for printers at this point i think but honestly not really just don't have a lot of uh scrap to work with just looking for regular uh green multi shops maybe for anything like atgs that rose buckler doesn't look too bad band in that is Ooh, pretty good that's probably like what that. he's gonna take as the one item we're missing in this build so far is a band so hopefully everyone finds that it's in the middle of grove in the tri shop as long as they look They'll get it. Yeah. That M2 plus band plus crowbars. Anything's dead at this point. Oh, yeah. Disputed is having a really nice time here. He has just the double gas for and the ukulele for Beetle Queen. He's chilling. Using the flamethrower. Enemies were almost just barely out of reach, but he got them. <laughs> the wondrous range. Goji's actually starting up the stage three teleporter. Um, Really not far behind his speed here, so they are looking yeah, and they, pretty good. They've got a ton of damage. I mean, the easily this is the easily catch up could even pass Ruddy. I mean, one mm -hmm. mistake from Ruddy, one full clear from Ruddy. Ruddy's got a very commanding lead right now, but let's see if he actually keeps the pedal down going into these next few stages because he's got the items. He's got pretty much everything you need. To clean out Mithrix, just maybe a little bit of speed is all you could really want. But like, how much is that worth looting for versus just going for it? And as you say, it, it looks like Ruddy is kind of taking some damage from the Titans. He just did a lot of solid damage, though. He did get some ukulele procs there as well. So one of the Titans is dead. The other is about to fall. He's got on the teleporter. He's chilling. Easy peasy. This is I mean, one yeah, of those if he gets spots. off stage four before the other players get to stage four. Oof, yeah, you're in a good spot. Notice, though, this teleport spot is literally half as large as normal because it's just stuck in the wall. Oh, 
plus a broken five. heart. Goji takes a plus five on stage three. I don't know what happened. I'm guessing it's the giant horde of a beetle guards <laughs> and pets, though. I have a feeling. Oh, man, that is so brutal. Don't Stuff. count uh, Goji out yet, though. They have still a huge chance of getting through the slowdown and actually winning. So you never really know what happens when it comes to Mythrix. No. Okay, disputed back in the bazaar. Find some bands. Gonna grab oh, at least go. one. There's a new Kahana's opinion. It's you for just cold. These, wait. <laughs> <laughs> disputed the heel tech. You did it. No, go back, please. <laughs> wait, somebody go to Disputed's chat. He forgot. <laughs> His dementia, it set in. <laughs> <laughs> you had the build. Oh, dude. man. <laughs> yeah, fun part uh, slugs don't even contribute to New Kahana either. Just <laughs> <laughs> why why does that even make any sense it's passive healing smile it's like Regia. <laughs> if it wasn't uh bad enough anyway yeah <laughs> so stupid <laughs> what a goofy well, ass disputed thing disputed will find another band if he goes up the sledge here so that will be three for him she's looking pretty good he also does have the saw um, the chest right next to the band where Ruddy just found, uh, Red Whip and Crit, which is also really good. They really kind of need that stuff. Looking forward towards the moon. It looks like Ruddy is leaning a little bit more here as well. L got a lot of extra money. Yeah, it really does seem like the Ruddy special at this point to come out of the gate swinging really hard because he's probably so comfortable with doing it since he's he's got that speedrunner mentality. But obviously, when you're speed running, you don't usually make it this far in the run unless the run's insane, right? Like yeah. most of the time, but by stage four, you've probably reset or died because you're going too fast and you didn't find what you need. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it seems like that's like what he's comfortable with doing is, is being really comfortable at stage one through three, going extremely quick and then slowing down, which it's not a bad strategy. It really is not a bad strategy to get that early lead and to be able to like be more comfortable on the, the stages that have more loot, too. Mm -hmm. A lot of racers have been doing the opposite. Um, setting up kind of early, being a little bit comfortable, and trying to snowball and go faster from there. It's hard to say what the right strategy is, um, but it is true that he is doing this because of the, the speed runner in him, for sure. Mm -hmm. Disputed oh, is taking Grandpa a needs second. to go pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to go lean against the wall and heavily breathe. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. He should uh, handle this pretty easily. He might try to do some saute here against the rock. He sees it. No, he's just going to go for it, I think. What you also can do in a situation like this is um, just not attack the Titans at all. And they actually right. won't laser you back because they have to be under a certain percent HP oh. threshold. Oh, disputed. That's just a gets larva lasered by moment. too many and then gets bombed by a couple of larva. Gets taken Tough. out. So, oh man, that AoE, he just needs to keep doing damage here to kill the, the larva. I mean, yeah, you, something. he just killed that Titan from like 90% health with the crowbar damage and the, 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 the three ice bands. Like he has the damage. It was just too many larva all so at once. I, again, looking at Goji, right? Goji is now really not far behind uh goji yeah. they can just loot a little bit more right now do the tp and maybe just get a better you know tp setup than disputed did not die to a seven larva is that a recycler yeah, on ruddy's screen Ooh, smile baby i'm excited cycle in a backup mag holy Let's see, he's trying oh. to recycle. He recycled the saw recycled into. The <laughs> is that a radar scanner? What is it? A DML. Okay. Yeah. Looks like he's just going to take the wisp, actually, and just leave. Oh, he's starting the yeah. bumper. My bad. Oh, I, thought I was, was going to say, wow. Yeah, was... <laughs> yeah. Uncharacteristic. But, I mean, still miles ahead of the other players right now, which is really, really good. And also, I mean, this, it, no plus he, five he'll either. even have some time to loot, you know? Like, he's got a little bit. What were you saying? Oh, 
I mean, like, he, not only is he ahead just in terms of stages, he also doesn't have a plus five, and they do. So that's mm -hmm. compounded effect. It's it's looking pretty good for Ready right now. All he has to do is just not die to the construct in the teleporter fight here, which okay, um, all right. He's taking a breather. He's taking. <laughs> <laughs> that watch is getting a little bit nervous right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a habit of, of cursing. Cursing racers. Uh, casting curse here. It's real, actually. I swear. Yeah, commentator's curse is a very real thing. And Ooh, that's the watch gone for the ready. Watch. Oh, oh, man. Please. Get back oh. here. That's a plus. There's no way. Oh, Come on. Dude. Wow. Is he really careful? He's going to drop down and go under the map a little bit. Yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. That's the smart cover. play. Oh, boy. Construct not caring and trying to follow him under the map. They will do it. <laughs> Just barely dodging that laser. Man. And again, it's it's so worth it to just retreat for a little bit here. It's way better than adding five mm -hmm. minutes, right? Just take a second. One minute's better take than five. Minute. Yeah, it's tough, but this is pretty bad. Unfortunately, I think the speed is going to get to this point and absolutely crush these bosses because he has three bands. Um, oh, yeah. He already took the plus five on stage four. So that is like it's going to be brutal. Knowing that he could have just done so well here. But we'll see. I mean, yeah, Ready is is holding on thin thin strands right now. <laughs> Minus twenty percent damage for the rest of the run, but looks like he's gonna it looks like he's gonna make it out without a plus five. That 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 construct should not be surviving much longer. Yeah, it just goes down. There we go. Is it something Super he wants boss. to reroll? Yes, it is. Definitely. So he's going to wait on that one. I don't even think he's going to really pick up the recycle right now, though. He probably think he needs the DML or he thinks he needs the DML right now. I don't he might just keep using it. Just try to clear the area a little bit more. Is that another Goji plus five? I saw that they it paused. Is. Oh, man, the Lara same as disputed, I think, then. Yep. <laughs> yep. Tough. Look at all those mushrooms, too. The ground That's isn't tough. safe. The air isn't safe. This it's is why we need to move to space. <laughs> <laughs> and rerolling the Baldrin is a death mark. Not really too exciting. Let's unfortunately. go! <laughs> God, the first couple of stages had all of the loot. And now it's not eh. looking as good. Other than those bands. I liked how nice stage one was compared to where we're at now. <laughs> yeah. Another combat chest on Dio screen. Here we go. Let's go. Gonna be something Not for bad. sure good. Actually, good. AP runs is nice. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. Chat asks if there's a schedule for these competitions. We do them weekly, once a week at least. Although we haven't done a double week in a while. Uh, but if you want to know the schedule, we don't know the schedule beforehand because we're dealing with a lot of different racers from across the worlds with all their different schedules. So make sure to join the Discord at discord.gg slash risk of resources, and we alert you when we know when the next race is going to be. But we have done one every single week for, I don't know, over seven months <laughs> or something. So <laughs> we've been pretty consistent at it. You can count on... Uh, us being there at some point in a week. And Disputed is on stage five now. He's been on for a little bit, but he's getting close to the teleporter, rather, is what I meant to say. <laughs> he's uh, he's kind of looking around. There, oh, look at that there's printer! There's an Aegis printer! Let's Dude, go! Huge! Disputed new, right? That's why oh, he took wait. the healing. No, slug also doesn't work for ages. So, wait, what? <laughs> oh, what? this makes no sense. The world is a lie. Yeah, can we get a, an ages? Surely they're all printed if they get a red. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> don't you love all those credits being taken up by that? It's funny, and I think it was the first loadout of the day. Yeah, when Ruddy was on stage four, and he was using that. Um, that one single brooch and who's getting like a full health barrier shield. That is like way more than Aegis could do in any of the runs we've seen today. So 
<laughs> that's what it should do. Like that. Yeah. You should get that item and it should do that. But it, <laughs> it's so silly. If you swap them, it'd make more sense, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Brooch could be a cool legendary, dude. Barrier oh, you mean swapping kills? Brooch to being legendary? I mean, I. Yeah. It would work better, unfortunately. As it would it work better now. in its current case. I would just say, like, nerf the shit out of Brooch and buff the shit out of Aegis, and then it would make me want to stack Brooches. I don't know. I think Brooch is fine, but yeah, it just is something else. And there's a safer spaces for Ruddy at the top of stage five, way, way <laughs> at the top of the map. So again, saver spaces is your uh, your pillar skip. And, a and speed there's printer. a speed printer, dude. Wow. Powerful. Incredible. So, obviously, they do have feathers. All of them do. But it is really nice to just get a little bit of speed, especially with Artie's low acceleration stat, which is a hidden stat in the game, by the way. Um, it can be a little bit rough on Artie and Multi specifically when dodging pizza, because if you change directions, you slow down a ton. That speed will help them out a lot. Yeah, and Artie's deciding between that. Oh, and there's the ignition tank. Nice. Hell yeah. In the question mark spot in the trash shop at the other end of the map. It's going to be hard to find. Ready's looking really, really good for this race. Just press the button, Ready. Just press the proceed through teleporter, man. No, come on. You don't need more. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> surely they won't be punished, right? We'll see. Surely, surely. Oh, okay. Wait. Double recycler for the Mythrix fight. Huge. Oh, I know actually. they have the disposable missile launcher. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Does make sense. <laughs> Does make sense. I think what uh he's doing, he's looking around like if he can find a red and re-roll it. Oh, a gun too late as a re-roll. Damn. Um, but if there was a red, you could re-roll the Aegis and then maybe something cool, but like, true. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. yeah. Laser scope round two. Yeah, Disputed found the the speed printer, but let's see if he jumps up and he does. See if he finds that safer spaces. There it is. Yeah, well, I'll be happy. Easy peasy. Done. Good to go. All right. Well, to the moon. Hopefully, Disputed finds a way to leave soon. He is down the teleporter, so hopefully, he uh, kind of just goes right after Ruddy. Ruddy looks like they're going to check soup. They're marking some stuff over there. Oh, it's already the one that you can't do uh, the host skip with because of the acceleration. <clears throat> if so, that would be wildly unfortunate. It's okay. Twitch chat's always got our back. I forgot about that one. I know you came with the headset one um, with Artie, but it's a little bit different. I can plead ignorance. I'm the amateur player here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I rely on the professional and I was just let down. <laughs> yeah. Professionals. Oh, uh, looks like the speed is actually scrapping for soup right now, which okay. surprised me a little bit. But hey, I mean, you know, if he wants to try to make his run a little bit different, this might be a way to do it. Yeah, anything helps. Goji manages to dodge all of the rocks coming across. Huge. Let's go. Goji actually getting the ignition tank as well out of the random. Nice bonus. Disputed getting the gun too late as well, unfortunately. It is really a shame. Ready is scaring God, you. You gotta that love pillar, that shrinking, but... the shrinking yeah. pillar, man. It's <laughs> with the eclipse bonus. I mean, you're just you're just giving it a hug at the end there. It's so annoying. <laughs> you can do what Ready was doing though. Uh -huh. Um, you can sit on the little lip. Uh right above the ground and that way you won't actually get hit by the fire from the exploders if it's on the ground right. below you That's which nice. i see a lot of people like if there's fire there they just walk away they're like i'm not like doing it but 
I mean, yeah, because it it, it 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 takes you out instantly. Like that damage is it's scary, extremely high. It's very scary. <laughs> All right. Reminder that we only um, have our racers do two pillars. We feel like it's more more competitive um, if you don't find a pillar skip or something. So this is Ruddy's second pillar. All he has to do is finish it up and he's good to go. He's just like edging that circle a little bit. He just wants to get it done. And there we go. Ruddy is done with pillars. And he did solve pillars actually pretty fast. So good job. Yeah, it was it was good pillar RNG too. No blood pillar, no blood pillars. Like it was all all around pretty decent. Blood pillars would have actually been the worst for them, all of them, because I don't think anyone has any repulsion armor plates or rose bucklers, oh. so they would all take permanent damage. And also, it's the furthest thing away from them, right? So it would yep. have been a little bit rough. I mean, Dio won't mind because he's making his way over there anyways with his copious amounts of scraps, seeing if he can find something good. Hopefully for a good red. Have, haven't seen one all all run. There is a red. It's Soulbound Catalyst. Extremely unhelpful <laughs> here. But he does have the Recycler. He did bring it to the moon. So he might just reroll that one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. At the, at the end of the day. Should check up top, though. We haven't seen anybody reroll a red yet because there hasn't really been one. So. And we have no idea what it's going to be. Meanwhile, Reddy is in the fight already. And Mythlerx is... Uh, I mean, halfway through phase one with the uh, execute bonus from freeze. So sentient meat hook. Eh, it's uh, <laughs> it's not going to be too helpful in this fight. So. Eh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Tough. Maybe phase three can lighten the load on uh, mobs a little bit around, but it's a little tough. Definitely going for a high roll there. Did not get it. He rolled a 10 or an eight. Roddy playing this Mythrix fight super efficiently with that wall. It's really nice to see mm -hmm. just stellar play of baiting Mythrix into the wall and baiting him down the wall to get more and more stuns. It's really cool. And this is hopefully he does it in um, phase three as well, but it's almost pretty optimal just to keep Mythrix in pizza. Uh, if you freeze Mythrix during pizza, he'll restart pizza from the top. And basically really? what you can do is just keep him in one spot. And if you're comfortable with dodging pizza, you just keep freezing. Just keep standing and just keep shooting. Cool. It's a very aggressive strategy, but um, it can work very well. Flex on him. Mm -hmm. Goji is almost done with the stage five teleporter. I hope they finish soon. It is getting a little bit rough there. They need to back up a tiny bit. The lack of speed is really troubling them right now, and I think if they saw the speed printer on the edge of the stage, they'd be a lot happier. I hope they find it. Yeah, it's looking a little rough. Another oh, plus five. And he, oh, they jumped right into the uh, the mushroom spore. That was very unfortunate. I don't know if that was like a quail. Uh, kind of leap into it. It might have been... Somebody call a beetle guard. It's unfair. Beetle guard is doesn't have a hitbox in the air. Why do the spore? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. The spores will fuck you up. It's <laughs> brutal. Disputed still doing pillars, but his soul pillar here is actually pretty good. But Ruddy is on phase two Mythrix, and by the time that Disputed gets up there, I mean I don't know unless something happens to Ruddy, which I I don't hope anything does, but. That would be the Ruddy's only chance. Ruddy's got a plus five too, because you got to remember, disputed has one, so it's. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So unless Ruddy really slows down or really fucks up, it's it's looking like a, a good Ruddy eating right now. It's good to see. Totally forgot about disputed's plus five. Since he's been playing so well since and before that point. Yeah. This is oh. uh, this has been all Ruddy, which disputed's probably going to be bummed about because you know how confident he is on Artie. Yeah. Yeah, I disputed actually had the uh, the Artie world record for a little while. So. Was it taken by Ruddy? <laughs> it was taken by another Australian, actually, which okay. he's just as upset about. There's something okay, called the, the Struth Sweep that is happening in the uh, in the speedrun. What does Struth stand for? 
It just stands for Struth. It's just Australian. <laughs> okay, awesome. <laughs> Love that. The, the Australians want to take over the speedrun leaderboard, and uh, everyone True. else in the world is trying to make sure that doesn't happen. But so far, Ruddy is doing great at kind of keeping that sweep alive, so. And we can see Disputed doing something very similar with the Ice Walls. The Flamethrower really just getting in there. Playing it very well, actually. He is very comfortable with Artie. Ready, though, on Phase 3 already. Let's see how uh, his fight goes. He does have Saber Space. They all do. They all should. Goju doesn't yet, but I hope they get it. But Saber Space is with Feather. I mean, come on. We're, we're looking so good. How many more ones do they have to do? This is the third loadout out of four today. It's been fun so far. It's like actually been pretty competitive and good good items, good like not terrible loadouts until the next one. We're we're getting there. Hold on. <laughs> ah, I'm ready. It might be just like one of those loadouts, you know, that just like takes a couple hours. We'll see. Oh boy. Everybody go grab a snack. <laughs> we can see here on ready screen, he's actually doing the, the pizza tech, just kind of trying to keep him doing it. He's he froze Mythrix again. So that's another pizza starting from the top, especially with Ice Spear, too. You can just keep restarting pizza. Very aggressive, but this is exactly what we like to see in this situation. He didn't quite in get the freeze there. Um, for that one, so Mythrix is going to jump in the middle unless he can cancel that as well, which you can do. It's a good time. If he charged up his Ice Spear right now, he could do it. Oh, he did a little bit too early. He has the Ice Wall. He did all that a little bit too early. He's just going for damage, I think. Oh, he did get the Freeze on the Ice Spear, though. Good. Nice. Disputed's actually kind of catching up, too. Like, obviously, he still has the plus five, but mm -hmm. has honestly been been cooking in this fight. No phase four skip for ready, but it looks to be fine. He does have a DML. He just how do you do the phase four well. skip here? Um, you could do it with uh with ice spear, which is kind of cool. Okay, but a little bit harder. Oh, he just did take some needles there. Already acceleration. He tried to turn a little bit. I would try to stay sprinting when you're shooting. DML's going out. It should be pretty easy from here. Yeah. Wall out, flamethrower, sprint canceled it, band in hand, <laughs> and then ice spear, and we're done. There we go. Close. Good job. Held my breath for a second there, but cleaned it up. The thing about phase four, when you're doing runs like this on uh, the gauntlet, you just don't really have that much damage. So if you do mm -hmm. get hit, it's not necessarily as deathly as it is maybe in a normal run. Mm. Fortunately. There was no big proc. Disputed doing the same strat for pizza. Starting it again and again. Ready charging the ship. Goji find the gun as well. A little bit too late. I know they're all I'll, thinking I'll like, man, I guess the other racers got that gun, huh? And they, you know, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. There wasn't really a good item to get with it, though, was there? They had a recycler on the stage, though. So they could have oh, gotten whatever. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Now I want to know what it was. Well, never find out. <laughs> if Zink wants to go and check, I will uh, allow it. Oof. Disputed oh, plane oh. with fire being that high up. You can see it pretty clearly, too. Whenever Disputed um, quails over to the side and then uses feather, so you can see how he bounces back in other directions, almost like he's being like paddled around. Um, that's just like the acceleration problem. Right. But Disputed does get phase three done. Going on to phase four. He doesn't have the DML. But that is a Ruddy uh, coming into first for that loadout. Let's go, Ruddy. Hell yeah. Big ups to Ruddy. Let's bring them in now. What up, Ruddy? How's it going? Hey, yeah, all right. How was that loadout? I mean, there wasn't too much damage in it, but it went okay. Did okay. Yeah. 
Uh, you're yeah. the only one who did not die, and you finished first in real time. So nice. you won. Congratulations. Very good one. Very nice. Is there anything big I missed? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think there was the Ice Band printer, or was it not? It was a Ice cauldron in the second oh. portal, I believe. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cauldron right. in, the, in the new portal. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. But that was, that was it. You got to be disputed and be going for that kind of wacky shit, right? Yeah, and no, I'll <laughs> leave that to him. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, I mean, you pretty much got everything that was available to get. You got the speed printer stage five. You got the ban on stage four. Um, yeah, nobody, all the items nobody got the gun. Nobody, nobody yeah. found the gun before the boss and then recycled. Yeah. <laughs> so we still don't know what that could have been. That was annoying finding that after. Yeah, it's all three annoying. of you found the gun, but it was yeah. just all of you found it after doing it. So <laughs> it's so just a brutal. weird place. I mean, I think it was the correct play because, like, if you look at like the 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 proper looting route, right? Like, it just it made sense to do the TP at the time you did it, and then yeah. loot the direction mm -hmm. afterwards. So. Yeah, you'd it's have to be on tough. some five head shit. It's just one of those things like in a normal, like non fast run, you can be <laughs> like, oh, this was a nice thing to get. And, you know, I'm rewarded for looking around a little bit, but just don't have that luxury here. The speed it is finishing up at the ship right now. Um, unfortunately, Goji did find a little bit behind, fall a little bit behind there on the last one as well. So they are unable to earn points on this one i am rooting for for goji dude i want them to absolutely come in on the last loadout and just annihilate everybody they had a really good start here yeah but then it, it just seems like they they run into a rut and they get stuck in it and it's tough man it's tough on the mental spring disputed in it's faster keep moving hello to speed hey um I hate to do it again, but if you want to tell Goji. Uh, that was actually Cabbage last time. I'll let Cabbage do it. <laughs> we'll go tell Cabbage so Cabbage can do it. Give <laughs> <laughs> him a tap on the shoulder. Um... Once the spirit comes back in here, we'll we'll talk about the run, his run, and we'll we'll see Goji's run as well, or talk about their run as well. Points on that shit. So disputed. It was um, it was stage four, but also you did just get beat. Yeah, I went pretty yeah. slow. So, oh. hey Goji. Uh. <laughs> That was a tough one also. Though, to be fair, you died in the exact same way Disputed did on the Stage 4 teleporter. You both suffered the same fate. Yeah. Uh, shared. Which is a little bit rough. How are your yeah. guys' runs? Because we know Ruddy got there. He got there pretty quick, but you guys experienced some uh, some turmoil. I greeted greeted um yeah i really struggle with this loadout i i spent a lot of time this run thinking about why i struggle with it once the thing started to go bad and i'm like maybe i'm just bad at aiming i don't know <laughs> um but <laughs> it's hard it's a hard one yeah um i don't know and once i plus five twice it was a little bit hard for me to you know mm -hmm. feel good uh and play confidently um, and so I started playing really slow after that. Um, and yeah. I don't necessarily think that that's like a bad thing, though. Um, if you can get some loot and build up to a better fight, sometimes it works out. So, yeah. yeah. It's tough. Disputed, how was your run? Yeah. It was really good, but I was just being really greedy for some reason. Like, I had three ice pans, ukuleles. I should have just... After I got the ice pans... Three? Gone. Yeah. You went to the blue portal. The second blue portal had a cauldron for them. Oh, wow. Yeah, Disputed, Disputed's the, the king of doing the, the alternative runs to try to 
set himself mm. aside from the other players. It's it's uh, always fun to see. Mm. Well, that's sick. Always hoping for drone man in the soup. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know he's gonna be doing a next race with blight. I'm like, hey, I might too. <laughs> yeah, how excited are we for that? By the way, if a lot of excitement bite, in this call right now. Oh, if we didn't have a bite, I, I wouldn't even God. care. I'd be like, whatever. We have spit, but we're we're loading into the worst stage one for not having projectiles, and all we have is is blight epidemic, and it's gonna be rough. It's I'm gonna be happy. Fun. I don't have to play sulfur pools again. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Still like, got to go like, wetland aspect. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. And Grove. So. I'll, wait, I'll, it's it's not Sirens. Okay. So we can all take a collective yep. sigh of relief. Ah. Uh, that would be awful. But. We have that. Um, <laughs> I have one minute. I just need to use the bathroom. Oh, of course. Thanks. He's almost as bad as Dan. <laughs> Yeah, but a damn too. <laughs> no, I mean, it's been really interesting. You two specifically have been really close to each other all the way through. So this last loadout could end in a, a tiebreaker between you two. How do you guys feel about that? Can we play Blight again? Oh, please. Can we play Blight again? Please, bro. <laughs> Is it another random race? It's a for random the... one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Full loadout. Mm -hmm. And then the first person to win in the tiebreaker, no matter the tiebreaker type, obviously, is just the winner of the day. So let's go. Huge. But we'll see. We might get there. We might not. Maybe. I mean, what needs to happen? Disputed, if you get in first, you just get in first and you win. Uh, Ruddy, if you get bonus points in first, then you win. For sure. That's assuming the other player. That <laughs> of course. That's just assuming other one of you gets in second. Or whatever. But that's like oh, yeah. that's not even destined to happen either. So gotta be careful. I'm back. Back? All right. I'm good to go. Well, if all you're ready, it's time, dude. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody could be ready for this. <laughs> I'm ready. So I'm going to decide for you. We're starting. All right. Have a good I'm one. I'm ready. And good that's luck. Rudy. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. See you guys after. All right. This. This is the loadout today. Right. Is this it, is the one. Is this the one? This is the one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely the one that none of them want to play. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. It Explain for everybody at home, why is this such a bad loadout? Oh, man. All right. So a lot of people, um, when they unlock Blight for the first time, they'll see it and they'll say, oh, it says that I kill enemies. That's pretty cool. I like that. Um, but what it doesn't say is that it does the worst job at killing enemies uh, over like anything else. So poison is percent health of damage. Blight is not it is base damage stacking um and you can get a few stacks of it on someone but it will never really compare to the damage of poison past the first couple of minutes of a run um, you would need full absolute full up time on all your stacks with like full alien heads and purities and everything and even then it only barely out damages poison and that's just considering the two passives alone. If you want to see a more in-depth um, video on this with the actual like science of it broken down for each passive in like almost every situation, uh, Cap has a very good video on it on YouTube. Okay. And then they were also complaining about Bite. Bite? Um, I like Bite. I know they don't like Bite. I think Bite's fun. Um, but with blight sometimes it's hard to snowball in the beginning and sometimes it's easier just to rely on a spit um bite is definitely for 
kind of a snowball mentality, just trying to hope that you can keep the stacks in, stay aggressive, do whatever. And it does help a lot if you can do that, but it's also just very risky in an equip state uh, speed run esque mindset here. So they're going to need to slow down a lot. And um, really, what they're looking for is kind of an equipment to help them out. Okay. Something that can essentially replace their build is what they're <laughs> kind of looking for. <laughs> yeah. Also, Rounds and equipment. You can see it on Ruddy's screen. Like when, the way he's running, it's really hard for him to dodge like golem lasers and stuff. So they're trying to go into the mocha printer, it looks like, just to try to get some speed so they can outpace uh, some enemy shots here a little bit better. Because Zach is just so large. It's hard to uh, dodge everything. He's a big dog. Mm -hmm. And specifically, I think Goji was talking about it. Um, this is a map that has a lot of high health uh, air units, right? So we see a lot of pests on stage one. With only Epidemic, uh, they have to basically wait Epidemic. Wait for the Epidemic cooldown to kill the pests. Because they don't, it, if they don't have a spit, they just kind of gotta wait around a little bit. They can do what Disputed's doing and try to like dash up, but they kind of move pretty fast on Eclipse uh, and out of the way of you. And when you do that, you can take a lot of damage. I would not be surprised necessarily if we saw an early death in a loadout like this. Oh yeah, um, if they're trying horde to of many. really push horde it. Horde of many. Don't. Dude, if they get a horde <laughs> of golems, they actually might all die. Is stuff. Yeah. Goji's going for the smoker printer, though. Very good strat by them. I mean, they have all white items. Just time to go in, get some speed. It's really nice. Just live. I think they're all doing it, but man. It looks like Goji has uh, been the best and most efficient at looting here. There is a mountain shrine. No one is going to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Wooly would hit it. Wooly would hit it. I think he would hit it. Yeah, yeah. What's the no, worst that could happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen too many Wooly streams. Wooly would press it. Wooly would say, "I'm not gonna hit it." One person in chat would say, "Maybe you should," and then, yeah, yeah, he'd lean okay, in ukulele. and he'd be like, "Well, I'm not a coward, right? I gotta go in." Does ukulele help at all on this character? I mean, anything helps. Like <laughs> You're looking for anything. <laughs> it does. When you get the slam in, the slam does a pretty good chunk of damage. Uh, this this slam actually can proc bans, which is going to be pretty nice for them. But if they bite and they do this, the M1 sprint cancel, they should get a lot of AOE with the UK here. So this should be like okay. just hitting the Titan on ready screen. He cleared out like all the air enemies. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what it's going to be very helpful for is hitting a guy on the ground and hoping that it jumps up to the sky. Mm -hmm. I'm look. I mean, I'm looking at Disputed's build. I don't know what's going on. Where is items? <laughs> I was looking I mean, he's, back he's and got forth the drones. and I was like, huh? <laughs> Where, where's all the loot, dude? Oh, man. Maybe he's just having trouble killing stuff. I don't know, but um, he needs to start looting for <laughs> sure. If Disputed kind of gets stuck in this trap, um, it could be very bad. The The game could start to snowball against him, and then suddenly he can get into a very cope situation. Yeah. And because we're looking at Disputed versus Ruddy here, specifically on who's going to win today, um, Ruddy's doing well. He's done with the teleporter pretty much. Disputed just like hasn't gotten off the ground yet so it's kind of yeah. scary yeah dude, i mean we, we we discussed that disputed has to get at least second in order to to force the tiebreaker right if either of these players get third they lose right so it's yeah it's, you gotta have that in the back of your head keeping the the fireworks though printed everything other than the fireworks just a little bit of alternative damage I mean, I, I, like I, I would do the same. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would do absolutely the same. You need fucking anything to kill somebody, especially the 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 pests and the, the wisps. There is an AP run printer too, but it just goes to show how much they are valuing speed right now that they are not even looking at it. They're just like, I, I don't even care. I just need to live at the moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Boji went for it and printed the stun grenade. That was the literal best thing wow. that, <laughs> that you could ask for. Nat Let's 20. go, Goji. Getting Holy. paid out, taking the risk and paying off. <laughs> and Goji is... Oh, I thought uh, they hit the teleporter. They're about to leave, though. They're just getting a drone before they go. The drone man will happen. It will. It'll it's gonna happen. happen. This is the run. They need it. <laughs> Back to wetland, baby. There is a seed on the stage, so they might be able to get some void items, some goodies. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, they have the AOE to just kind of like naturally clear it over time because they're just doing everything else. Just send an epidemic over there every mm -hmm. 10 seconds and then eventually it'll get cleared out, right? Yeah, I'm just seeing if there's any like stronger enemies in there. I'm also seeing if there's any uh, void cradles. I see one. Looks like the enemies are pretty easy. Just a couple of marines and some barnacles. It looks like Ruddy's going right in, stunning the enemies with the shifts and just uh, saying, I win. Easy. Easy peasy. Easy. So I see Go down to one HP. Hit that actually. void cradle. Come on. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, if you triple hit with your M1, you actually get some healing. So And bite actually heals you a little bit as well. But, of course, Eclipse 5, pretty brutal for that. So what is that printer right there? It looked around. It looked like a death mark. Probably not going to be useful for them yet. Ooh. A key. These are like pretty that. nice. I like that. So hopefully they get to make good use of the key. It's always a little bit tough to make like perfect use of the keys in the gauntlet here. Because if you don't find it just on your natural route and you feel uh, encouraged to go out of your way to look for it, it could waste a lot of time. And it could just be something bad. So half the time we see just people pick it up immediately. Half the time we see like maybe someone try to wait for it. Half the time, a third of the time, I guess. We just see people not finding it at all. A one gist for the other one is pretty good, actually. They needed the healing. So hopefully everyone does get that. And, and some, some more, more speed. speed. Huge. I see a plus oh. five on, on Goji's screen, unfortunately. I don't know what happened. I'm sure it'll be made clear. Oh, I think it was a collapse from one of the void enemies. It looks like. Oh, no. That's a pretty brutal one. That's <sighs> tough. Breaks my heart. That is tough. That's the only thing I think on his screen that could have killed him. See, what Ruddy did was risky when he jumped in there, but he just uh, he knew that the shift stuns. So it was just like enough of a uh, an aggressive mentality just to go in. Sometimes when you yeah. play a little bit too back, um, they can just get the upper hand on you, and that's kind of scary too. At least there is more speed on this stage. Mm -hmm. Nice handy goat hoof. Ruddy's already on the second teleporter too. Once again, coming out with that speedrunner mentality. Oh, yeah. Oof. Good to see. He's so fast. Disputed still looting up a bit. I mean, he's still got way fewer items than everyone else, right? Yeah. I think so. I mean, not by a lot, but it, a lot of it's those those uh the, the void items that Ruddy has. But yeah, I mean, it's still he's not getting paid for going slower. Usually that's the the trade-off, right? Does decide instead of going for that goat, I think that was the same goat hoof multi shop, goes for a second fireworks. That may be something that helps him out a lot here. He had, like yeah. in his kind of persistence to loot more, he'll be getting more kills, and that might just and uh, he immediately gets paid out with an energy drink off of the easy. the chant shrine, which also gives him <sighs> a little bit more money just from fireworks killing stuff. So yeah, easy. Okay, if he does right, find a caffeinator, it. he might find himself with a good build a little bit later on. We'll see. Yeah, it's not bad. He's got the brooch. Massive. Can't lose now. I do want to point out, though, um, because this loadout is as tough as it is for a lot of these guys, Goji's uh, early death doesn't really mean that much. To me, oh, no, I, it, it means nothing. We've seen <laughs> blight loadouts where, like, I don't know, I, I've seen scrims lately. Uh, with the guys just in the risk of resources discord server um and these guys specifically had like 15 plus deaths by the end of a run on a blight loadout sometimes they just go too fast it happens 
Okay, you know, disputed really not getting punished. The random on the multi shop was the goat hoof as well. Oh man, not getting really left behind in the speed department at all. Let's go disputed. We love we love the disputed out there plays getting paying paying off. It's it is, <laughs> it's fun to see. I mean, honestly, disputed's playing it okay at this point. He's just full looting. He's just getting everything he can. He's just like, dude, I'm gonna. If I get enough stuff to go fast, I will. But for now, I'm just. I'm just here to play the character. And finally, yeah. our first not sulfur pools today, Scorch Acres. I oh. love that. This is um, arguably the best stage three for a lot of reasons. Uh, some of which I mentioned earlier, better bosses than a lot of the other ones. Uh, equipment multi shops, uh, no TC drones. <laughs> no blind pass. Yeah. I mean, easiest enemies as well. Just uh, a lot of no. wisps and just like normal stuff. So, and you have a good credit amount too. A lot of potential here. Disputed clearing out the, the void seed, trying to find some stuff. Looks well, like he's not fully committing to it right now, though. It looks like he's still looking for some other things. He did check that corner because I think he was looking for a blue newt portal. Maybe. That is where it can spawn, so. Or maybe he's just looking for extra loot in every single crevice and corner. <laughs> Who knows? Goji's in, like, a very headstrong mentality. Like, I don't know if you're watching them fight the 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 boss, the wandering vagrant, but they were, like, a millisecond away from taking a massive blast as they killed him. Like, they're playing very dangerous, very fast, and Hell it's... Yeah. Uh, motivational you know instead of letting the the plus fives get you down putting your head down and cranking it out it's good sometimes with acrid that's just what you have to do with vagrants like once it gets mm -hmm. down to that point you just gotta you gotta go and you just hope that you don't drop your combo and fall to the ground because if you, that happens <laughs> yeah. then uh, <clears throat> on ruddy screen he actually picked up another key out of a void cradle like an encrusted one so now he can get the lockbox and there is a safer spaces in it there is a void set and there is a needle tick all of which are okay he's going for void scent though over safer spaces because the aoe is really needed yeah here, and i do not blame him that is the right call as much as safer spaces is fun to get i mean he already has the odds that speed. you find another one with two more <laughs> keys is oh yeah pretty good so take the green when you get it you know mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty good. And the keys are seated as well for everybody. So works the same as everything else I've talked about today. First time you see the box on a map, it's going to be the same box as someone else's the first time they see it. Another firework on Sage 3. And I know Disputed is going to like that when he gets it. <laughs> I can just see into the future. Yeah, I mean, even with the the bro the double brooch as well, like the fireworks are are so good at just chipping off enemies with all of like the ukuleles and everything, and just keeping you from taking any other damage. It's he's got a really good setup here that just doesn't work at all for Mythrix. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it's, it, he's just got to figure it out until, by the time he gets there. I always think about these runs in two parts: all of the stages and then Mythrix, right? And then mm -hmm. they all need way different builds usually like the things that are good for the stages are never really that good for mythrix and vice versa one is just so um single target heavy the other is just aoe soup time speaking of aoe and single Ooh. target uh, there's a band and then similar daggers looks like goji is going for the band to get themselves a little bit of a uh an advantage here they were motivated by Disputed's uh, Bortle talk last time. They're like, you know what? I am going for that band I've, soup, and they got it. I purposely came in today, and I and I told myself, every single time that I get to talk to the players, I'm going to leak everything <laughs> that the other players did that was good. I just wanted to create chaos and turmoil and not let anybody be the only person doing a strat. So I was like, hey, oh, this yeah. really worked for Disputed last time, and immediately Goji getting paid out for doing the same. I love that. <laughs> I yeah, love being a little rascal like that. Don't let him get away with it, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Watch Disputed print here and lose both of his fireworks. Because no. he's going and into the new might, portal, though. too. 
it is yeah. kind of risky though. They don't have <laughs> a great way. Oh, never mind. They have the good uh slam. I just talked about it earlier. They can proc bands with their slam. Mm-hmm. Um, usually I'm just so used to everyone using the other one. Let's see if he does it though. Disputed he's says no. I think oh, he he likes that. his items. He likes yeah. Them. That's that's awesome. That's, that's really fair. cool to see. Yeah. Unfortunately, Ruddy is still on this teleporter. There was a lot of mendings that were just healing up this imp, and it's really hard for him to get like fully in there. So, this is taking quite a while. It's a little bit dangerous. He's already down to half health. If I can get like a little conspiratorial here, I think that Disputed would have taken a band after this stage, but he knows that there's equipment multi shops here. And so if there's ever a time that he's going to get lucky and find a caffeinator, it's here at stage five. And so trading out the possibility of your fireworks one stage before, like it would feel terrible to yeah. immediately come here and then see the fireworks. Because I think fireworks overall against Mythrix would be far better than one firebend, right? Like, yeah. So, I mean, I, Absolutely. I, I, I'm, I'm getting inside of the old man's head here. And he's <laughs> always, he's always thinking five steps ahead with like, these low possibility plays. And I think that's what he's probably wanting is like, no, we've got two stages here with equipment multi shops. I've got to try. I need to point something out. Ruddy found a card on the other side of the stage, and there oh, is a shit. lot of multi shop potential here, but he doesn't yeah. have any money. So yeah. while it's kind of cool, he's just going to have to leave with getting not really that many of the items. Mm hmm. Also, Goji did take the saver spaces, but did get a key beforehand as well. So okay. we'll have the the still at least one extra encrusted key, but the difference in builds already. I do think that Void Scent was really nice, especially when they have ukulele, right? Because it just really chains yep. well. But I understand that after that plus five, uh, they might be thinking like, listen, I just want to not die right now. I want the saver spaces. Yeah. It looks like Ruddy is going after the band as well. Ruddy's actually thinking about ceremonial daggers here too. Ooh. They're they're thinking about it. Uh, on, they don't want to Do pick up the band yet. Okay, they they thought about it and they were like, ah, no, we have <laughs> we have red whip, we have coil. I don't really want to get rid of that stuff at the moment. I don't really want to get rid of yeah. Nick either. Greens and that's are, a the plus five for disputed. I don't know what happened to him. Oh no! I mean, what again, happened? like we said, it's you're never, you're never out. The, the, this this loadout is one of those loadouts that if you take your eyes off of a player for five seconds because you're watching somebody dance over a dagger in a newt portal while they're perfectly safe, yeah. you know it's <laughs> yeah, the greedy grandpa getting taken down. Penny greed. He has no pennies. <laughs> Did he just get blasted? No, I just said, or... the, oh, the, no, the, the chat Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he definitely got blasted by something. Some imps or Templar or something. Did find the third fireworks, though. It's hey. Like he so he's he's going to be happy that with that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, looking at Goji, they're, in my opinion, I mean, they started the teleporter first. They're a little bit ahead. Right. Yeah, so there's once again a serious shot that if Ruddy keeps this up and Goji keeps this up, that it could be a Ruddy day. This could be a tiebreaker too, because to get mm -hmm. one, we need uh, Ruddy to get in first or just ahead of Disputed. The second key box has a plasma shrimp also, which oh is my really God. nice. Accelerate the game just a little bit. And an egg. Okay, that could I work. Do you like egg? I mean, because even if you just think about it in the sense of like, even if you're doing a really, really slow pillar skip, if you get like a fuel cell egg or something and you're just creeping away all the way up there, like <laughs> I would personally with this loadout rather do that than die three times on pillars because dealing with the perfected wisps is that being absolute said, bullshit. Um, acrid only needs like one or two speed items uh to skip with this shift so they're fine oh okay okay you can just yeah, so that up. plus the egg yeah mm -hmm. is is the egg already enough with this shift then i mean you don't even need the egg oh okay yeah just jump you're good 
with the other leap, it's a little bit easier. You actually don't need any items at all. You can just go up. Yeah, but yeah this yeah. one just has learned. I've done that. Up. Yeah. What about the safer spaces? Is that enough for for Goji? Yeah, I mean, there's okay. a acrid host skip as well, which oh, is oh, just like faster. straight up. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Again, amateur player here needs to learn. Actually, maybe with this uh, leap, you can do it itemless now with the new host skip stuff. Are you so. are you watching Disputed? By the way, <laughs> just, I am just now charging the teleporter right here yeah. and just I, I just using the, the the blight through the wall. The blight cope is uh, revealing itself. <laughs> These are strats you only see in runs like this. Really. Wait, the fireworks aren't working. What? What? He just really is looking for that calf in there. He just never got it. If he got it, he'd be really happy. But yeah, <clears throat> we'll see. Ready though with a card. Still hasn't been able to use it. Unfortunately, I wish there I was mean, some more use. But oh, another plus five for Goji. The, it's like, okay. The use of the the use of the card though is like it. It doesn't always show up, but it's like. You know, how many items do you buy until you get one extra item, right? Like, yeah. you know, and then you one extra item, then you one extra item. Also, Ruddy, not okay. Ruddy's getting getting into the thick of it. Still has 80% on the TP and is, I mean, Little like dangerous. 400 max HP at this point. <laughs> not even, 375. Everyone is struggling on a teleporter right now. It looks like yeah. Goji and Disputer are doing the exact same thing. They know the cope strats. They know that if you get a teleporter to 99%, no enemies will spawn from that point onward. So they got it to 99. No enemies left. They can just have them and the boss just alone, and then they could eventually take it out. But even here, Disputed is struggling a little bit. If he gets hit by another one of these needles, that's another plus five. So, Oh, look at the larva on Ruddy's uh, screen. Oh, oh my god. Loot. It's getting it, so close. Even with... Two goat hoofs for Mocha. The speed is not enough. And it's pretty funny, too, because I think it was pretty apparent. Every player at almost the same moment felt it. It was just that click mm -hmm. of like, oh, it the tides have like shifted a little bit. You know, they all started struggling at about the same time. Oh. It's brutal. Ready shift coming off cooldown at the very last second. He's he making it through. At least he has the boss death or dead. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, there's still so many golems and larvae here on stage <laughs> four. I am holding my breath. Because, I mean, like, if he plus fives, it it changes everything. You know, like. It, it, everything is is so close and, and we don't even kind of realize it, you know. Disputed picking up a prion. I Prion, think Prion, he's Prion? looking at that and he's like, dude, I need something right now. I need, <laughs> I need anything. Yeah. It looks like Goji did the same exact thing. So they're all just hoping for just some damage. They turned down a card for it, too. Like they saw it and they're like, dude, mm -hmm. I just need to risk something. I think they I mean, all it's like you're pretty saying, Ruddy hasn't gotten anyway. a whole lot of value out of that card yet. And... No. Yeah. It's definitely oh cool, God. but and still Ruddy is in this teleporter only 60% of the way through, and it feels like it's been forever. Oh my God. Like Stop. every every time I just glance over at Ruddy in the middle of the teleporter, <laughs> there's 19 things that are oh it's it's again. It's just it's like every few seconds there's like 19 things that are about to kill him, and they just Grove, don't because yeah, Grove is one of those maps of a skilled player. Where um all the enemies are either really tanky or they like they self-destruct, right? Mm -hmm. And that is not good because all of the enemies that self-destruct, you don't get money for. And all the enemies that are tanky, you don't really get to kill if you have no damage. And so you can just get caught in this loop of just what he's in where he's just like barely using his void scent to do stuff and jump in and out. Oh, man. It's tough, though. Goji going after this uh, world spawn vagrant that spawned in. They might want to think about using the prion here with a band shot. If they can get a prion hug uh, band shotgun, could be an instant kill on that. 
where it's a little bit risky. Disputed went into the blue portal, and I did not see what he saw, but I didn't <laughs> uh, not see too him much take anything, action on so. everybody else's screen. <laughs> yeah. Oh I my want to look God. away. Though, Ruddy does finish with a teleporter, so he can look around a little bit more now. and It's the um, time. Yeah, see if we can get anything to help his build at all. Yeah, this this stage four is uh, truly a pivotal point. I mean, honestly, congratulations to Ruddy not taking a death there because that that was close for a very long time. Oh my god, there's still things around. If he got hit by that, um, Ruddy might have died right there too. So still gotta be careful. There's still things around on the stage. Some elite golems. It looks like. Uh, Ruddy's looking at the legendary chest. He might take it okay. here. Okay. He's taking it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, Let's so go, the Ruddy dude. looting strats not paying off on this run. Last yeah. run, major payout. This run, oh man, oh man. There's gonna be a red printer this stage. Go there is. Gonna, there will be. Okay. There's going to be a red printer this stage. Don't worry. So oh, there's a bison steak printer on Ruddy's screen. I think he's now in hell officially. Um, there's yeah. already a construct that's just floating on by. I mean, I know he has <laughs> void scent, but man, this okay, is going to be see a what the really void, tough Let's see stage. what the key is. And it oh. is. It's another life. It could be Plarva or it could yeah. be another plimp. It looks like he's going after the Plarva and he's taking it. So what happens when he dies? He gets Tenna Bubble, he gets Polyloot, he gets um, Void Band. Let's go. Pretty powerful. And that's it, but I don't really... Yeah, notably here, he's mm. the only player that doesn't have safer spaces, isn't he? No, uh, Goju's the only one with safer spaces, actually. Oh, really? Wait, yeah. what did Disputed Origin take? He didn't find the key last stage, I guess. Oh, which made that teleporter actually very difficult for him. Oh, you know what? That's what it was. Goji and Disputed both did not have the Void Scent, which made that Sage 3 teleporter hell. Yeah. They had no probably. good AoE. They had the Yuke, but like they weren't actively doing a lot of damage for it either. Tough. Dang. I was yeah, wondering why Disputed like... was so tough. but I wonder if that's the speedrunner inside of Ruddy, knowing... And at that point, you are not a strong player if you're going as fast as possible. Uh-oh. Ready. God, he got <laughs> st God, was just getting stunned in the middle of the hair. Oh, my God. <laughs> you got to be careful. Those words, dude. I don't know. It's it's hard. I'm not a speed runner myself, mm. but I see it a lot that um, they definitely have different uh, approaches to the gauntlet than mm -hmm. many of the other guys who have just been kind of Going for more consistent, like, win streak type stuff in the past. Yeah. Because it, 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 that definitely sounds like a, a speed running strat, right? To go for the damage over going for the safer spaces. Because, like... Oh, yeah. In speed running, it's like, dude, just take everything possible that hurts something and just don't get hit. Like, forehead, I guess. Don't get hit forehead. Disputed. I am that legendary chest. It's like, you know what? I don't know. He, he got the blue portal. It looks like he's going to hope for Drone Man. But I agree with you. I think, though, that Void Scent was just an easy call, though. Um, I just, just, you just missed the key. I think just what it was. Which is really unfortunate. That's what I was talking about earlier. It's like half the time, you know, they they don't even find it. It's like they don't want to loot the whole stage stuff. Disputed did get the egg, though. Oh, someone just said in chat that the speed didn't clear the void seed in stage two, so he didn't get the key early. Oh. And so it just it didn't spawn there. But it, but since he got the key last stage, he will get his first void key box here on this stage, and it will right. have the safer spaces and void set in it. Also, Disputed is going for a gas printer, which because he doesn't have any of that AoE, he's like, dude, I give me something. He's losing a lot of speed. He's losing a lot of stuff, but he's really desperate for some AoE right now. Don't blame him. I mean, with the amount of larva on this map, too. like hmm. 
yeah it's 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 super interesting the difference in everybody's builds right now because this isn't like the it's not a character that's cut and dry straightforward you know you have to solve your own puzzle in order to make this oh, yeah. terrible terrible loadout work so it's really cool to see oh Roddy once again getting oh. for like the 850th time Dude. getting extremely low but not dying he is scaring me a lot <laughs> actually oh god and there we go. Disputed did find it, and he did pick up a safer spaces in it, uh, just like Goji did. He already got the gas, so it was just an easy choice for him at that point. I mean, Ruddy just proving that, that he belongs in this racing scene with the performance of just being able to last and, and, and weave these, these jumps in and out to... Oh, yeah. To not die is just, it's so incredible because I know that these grandparents, if you let them run away once they're below half with the the increased attack speed of Eclipse, they they keep that sun attack up forever, it seems like. There's yeah. a very small window that you can actually safely attack them when you don't have a range. The only good part of that for this moment is that the sun attack hits enemies as well. Not mm -hmm. parents because they're of the same like creature or something. But it will destroy all the bells, it'll kill the Shungites and whatever else. So he does have some room to work with here. Uh oh, he jumped into the sun. That... Uh oh, uh oh. Not too much damage though. Oh, I he mean... has three Wungus. It's the only reason he's even alive. Yeah. If he did not have it, he would have been gone. Oh, dude. Goji and another plus five. Tough. I don't know what it was, but it's on Grove. So, like anything. Could have done that for anyone. <laughs> I mean, I'm not taking my eyes off of Ruddy right now. I, I'm, it's, it's, I'm waiting for the first plus five to happen. There, it, I, I do not believe that one man can be good enough to get away from every single one, but Ruddy's proving me wrong and I want to see it happen. I mean, even if he dies, it won't even be a plus five. He has the Plarva. It's very true. He's holding on. And really, that's a huge bonus for him. Uh, the only other person that's going to be able to get a pluripotent larva on stage five is Goji if uh, they find the key boxes uh, this stage and next stage. So, all right, then we need to find them. They just need to find the key box next stage specifically. That's all. Grandparent is getting finally low for ready. He's almost oh. done, dude. Just one more band proc. One more band proc. Here it goes. There Done. it is. Finally. Finally. What do they get? Is it something cool? Is it like a oh, Probably pangolin? not. Could it be? <laughs> it's green. Uh, I can't see what it is. We'll see in a little bit. <laughs> Immediately close. he dips. He's like, I need to go take a break from all that, man. Because now the enemies can actually spawn. Ooh, doing a little risky scrap right there. You almost, yeah, uh, what the heck? Just finish the like, TP before you do this. He, you know what it was? He almost died several times from the uh, the harpoons pushing him out into areas he didn't want to be in. So he was like, "Dude, just yeah. get that off of me, like right now!" And yeah. he like live. The the dangerous thing is accurate is if you have a lot of speed, and even things like red whip harpoons are, are just a lot of base speed in general, and you shift forward and you hit a wall, the game will send all of that energy. And momentum down into the floor with no fall damage uh immunity and so you just die immediately Love and so that. that that probably almost happened to him a few times and he's like dude just get off <laughs> <laughs> makes sense yeah for all that work you get an infusion how do you feel he didn't even earn that much money because the grandparent did all of the damage to all the enemies so he has enough for like two chests here oh that's tough that is tough the only thing he has going for him is the fact that he's still very candidly in the lead we'll see he might go for this prion he's thinking about it he does go for it it's gonna be the only damage you can get during mythrix but oh my is it painful all right I think I think Ready at this point is just hoping for some good soup. I think we all are actually. 
<laughs> Banging for some good soup. We'll see. There is just not much more Ruddy can do here. If he wants to do a combat shrine, he could earn some more money. But all the enemies on the stage are not going to amount to much. You can kill pretty much everything and get like a couple more chests. Um, but he's going to clear out this zone a little bit right here. Maybe get one or two more. Focus crystal isn't huge. This muted is done with stage four teleporter though, which is kind of nice. He did it without dying. He's which is good. A, like he's he's making sure to kill all of these enemies. I'm curious as to how much looting he's planning on doing right now because he's there farming be everything. Scrapper. I don't see one stage four, but it seems like there's something he wants to do on this map. Maybe he's going for the legendary as well. He's definitely getting his drones back. Yeah, that's probably what he's focusing on. That are immediately gonna get rinsed next next map on the grandparent, but Ready almost dying to this bell several times, just scrapping in between bell shots. Oh my god. <laughs> Scaring me. Just gotta flex on him. Flex on him. Let him know who's the boss. And Ruddy going to the moon. Oh, there is a uh, a turret on the teleporter, unfortunately. So he needs to kill this or move it off before he can leave. Okay, he's good. Goes move. for it. Good, good, good. Disputed going for more gas, actually. <laughs> I think Disputed's hoping that he gets an FMP. He's going for like a soulbound play here or something. He's got some sort of cope going on. Something, something's cooking up in his brain. ATG He's putting the pieces for together. Goji. He found it on stage five, and Ruddy did not find that. So that's just straight value for Goji there. Hell yeah! It looks like Disputed's going for more. He summoned something with a combat shrine just to get more money for more stuff on <laughs> stage four. I mean, he does have the newt portal, so he is. I mean, at this point, he's. He's the only one I think that's gone through this many nude portals too. Mm -hmm. So he's seeing loot that nobody else does. And yeah, it's uh, going to be extremely disappointed just like everybody else with the new Kahanas. Yeah, it's going to be hyped. I'm going to unmute him. Okay. He just said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think too exciting. We can see on ready screen, he's actually doing the, uh, the acrid variation on the host skip here. I, uh, He's ping and soup, but looks like he's more interested in doing the skip at the moment. Oh, no, Ooh. he's just going right for soup. Here we go. Test the coil okay. for disputed. Nice. That's something. It's it's something, I guess. It does damage. It does. It does more damage than the rest of his kit. Goji did a prion against the grandparent there. He did a hug, so he got the good band shot, but it was a little bit too early. So now he has to kind of deal with the sun phase. Although he does have fuel cell. He does have another uh, prion, actually. So that was fine. What is the soup over here? I know it was a laser scope. I know it was a happy mask. I see a brain a whole socks. Lot of nothing. Wow. <laughs> a whole lot of nothing. Wow. Okay. And now right, he's getting hit up and losing a little bit of max HP, losing one shot he's... protection slowly but surely. Uh, Ruddy says smile in chat as he picks up the happy mask. Huge value for all that scrap. He's getting a squid as well. Huge. What a build. Actually. Getting paid, honestly. Getting massively paid. This is why we go for soup, guys. Don't forget. Yeah. Goji doing the exact same thing Ruddy was doing. Just trying to hide from the sun in that little crevice. Just trying to sit away from the parents. Too many parents, though. It Too like many Ruddy parents. Is just going up the side of the tree on the sun instead of doing the, the host skip stuff. He has enough speed to do so, so it's all good. Man, I mean, we're getting closer to the Mythrix fight. I still have no idea who's going to win. <laughs> Not a clue. Because, like, you may look at Ruddy and be like, he doesn't have any deaths. You know, he's there. He has that advantage going for him. 
I mean, he has no damage. He's gonna hit. He's half. He has to hit every prion that he has, um, perfectly. And if he doesn't, I mean, it's gonna take forever. And even if he does, it's gonna take a long time. So, buckle up. <laughs> he's going just for some early damage here. He's gonna go for the prion right here. Oh, Mythic's juked him a little bit. So that's minus one prion. That's minus two minutes of damage. And now we wait. <laughs> He's going to try to do as much damage as he can, obviously, but um, the Blight damage is just so low, it can't carry itself. So, yeah, this is what the battle is going to look like for just about everyone, I think, unless Disputed or Goji finds something else. Obviously, Disputed has Hessa, which is pretty nice. We'll see how useful that is. I mean, it is better. I'm just watching the ruddy fight right now, waiting for <laughs> waiting for the swing that takes him out. There's one. Owie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, normally in a Mythrix fight, he would have jumped to the center uh, you know, a minute ago, but we're in Blight Town, so another yeah. massive swing. Oh, oh man, dude. I don't even think I he's mean, that worried. Honestly, yeah, because he does have the extra life. He's got the larva, so he's he, he, and, and like after you die as well, like uh, <laughs> you you have you get the uke or he doesn't he get the he has a ukulele, right? Yeah, he does. So like you get that. Like it's it, he's not really caring all that much if he dies. He just doesn't want to. Like obviously, he doesn't want to die now. He'd rather die later. But like you get to play a little more aggressive and. Then yeah. play super duper careful. Disputed screen. There's 30 bells on screen for some reason. Love all that right. ding dong. Well, they're all dead because Tesla's good. <laughs> I I looked over and it was just that's all I could see. And I was like, all right, well, I don't know what happened to him, but <laughs> he looks like he's doing OK. Actually, it looks like he's doing better than all the other guys. He does grab the A2G as well, which is really good. The one thing that Ruddy didn't get a chance to get. But that being said, Ruddy is playing it pretty good, I do have to say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's it will. I will be genuinely flabbergasted if Ruddy doesn't at least die. Plus five. That's to say something else, but just die, dude. Like it's it it is <laughs> it is outstanding that you have gotten hit this many times by this damn hammer. There goes the flask. I mean, that's just the power of Opal, really, though. I mean, yeah. Acrid also has some innate armor. Uh, I'm lagging, so I can't see anything. Someone's stream on is... disputed stream. It's okay. disputed. So yeah. he, he's lagging for me. It lags everyone for me when that happens, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to refresh. Okay. We got there. Oh, and there goes the death. a death. I did Finally. catch that. Finally. And immediately the void band. Let's go. Very powerful indeed. You can keep them stationary. I mean, hopefully the uh, the plasma shrimp poly loot combo will end up doing a little bit of damage. Yeah. But we'll see. I mean, even the tenta bobble will be nice, but. I just don't know how much you could really proc it. And I know there's someone out there in chat thinking, ah, of course, the Nukahanas will be procking all of these things. Yeah, uh, Nukahanas has a 0.2 proc coefficient. So let's let's simmer down a little bit. <laughs> it doesn't proc anything. So thumbs up. <laughs> we love that. We Ignition love that tank for Disputed with his uh, eight gas. The thing is, I know he's looking for an FMP at this point or something to continue this gas over to um to Mythrix. But honestly, he might just be thinking like, okay, maybe phase three, I can just bunch up all the ads together and we can get some damage that way. I don't know. We'll That's see. cope. That's some serious cope. Yeah, it is. Because <laughs> you have to get to phase three to do that. <laughs> yeah. He's got the power of blight on his side. He's chilling. Goji is trying to do the host skip here at the pillars, but I don't think he knows that for acrid you have to do it over here at mass um he also could just jump up the tree i don't know if he's aware of that either but he's also scaring me scaring me a little bit 
They are. Disputed ice band with the uh the Freon, yeah. All right, here's Goji Ghost. They know the spot. They're doing it. Uh, they messed up a little bit, but it's okay because they know the spot. They got this. Is this faster if you get it on the first cycle? Like if you get it first try? Yeah. Okay. Like significantly, like 30, 40 seconds ish? Or. I mean, I. Probably at this point, he just should just go up the tree, though. <laughs> but yeah, it is faster. You get quite a bonus up. What you do is you jump from the ship uh, towards mass, and you end up flying over towards this spot. And you jump in that spot. It's like chaining jumps across the map and stuff. Right. Um, he's looking for this little spot here. Because this little spot looks towards up the rock up top. There he goes. I am he now unconvinced that Ruddy is not going to plus five. Ruddy, Ruddy's going to plus five. Oh, Look at this. Dude. There That's it goes. Finally, five. the first plus five for Ruddy. The God can bleed. <laughs> I don't mean to be a commentator rooting against a player, but God damn, was it overdue. Ruddy, a phenomenal fucking player. But oh my God. It does not bode well for the rest of them, though. <laughs> Phase two to know. is the roughest part of the fight. It's going to be that way for everybody. Disputed having a slightly distinct advantage with Tesla, but it's still going to be hard because they all have to get yeah. in there uh, towards the wisps. They're all going to bunch up. They're all going to just, you know, burst them yeah. down. So I mean, the eight gas is, is going to be nice to have the, the range on it to actually proc, but it's still you still have to kill a person. Like You still have to kill one of the guys, and that's the hard yeah. part. It's the hard part is killing the guy. All right. Well, Goji's actually in the fight though. So it's time to, it's time to have somebody else to, to watch get fucked over by phase two. It's tough. I am very excited. <laughs> oh, here's Fuck. disputed. He's finding the key box. He was a little bit late. So this is the key box that uh, ready found second. And he found this one on stage four. Uh, Disputed found this one on stage 5 because obviously he got his keys later and he is unfortunately blasted oh. with another key directly after he picks it up which means he does not get his void keys on the moon if he had just waited a second gotten that chest he would have gotten the pluripotent larva on uh, stage that's six. the worst yeah I mean it, it, it's always the next chest it always is it, Yeah. after you use your key it's so terrible fuck you hopu it's yeah, planned. This. Somebody look in the code. And there's another key for the speed. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Just to rub it in. Oh, yeah. another plus five for Goji. I mean, the Mythics fight is going to be. Uh, well, like, they clicking. have to get aggressive. They all have to to um yeah to really get some damage in. If you just sit back and do blight, it will literally be thirty to forty five minutes from this point, and I'm not kidding. Right, so they oh, need to Ruddy's do something. about to collect their second oh. pair of wings. They grab yeah. them. Ooh, wee mama. Now they're plus five. Phase two is really the decider here. As oh, yeah. as well as uh, Ruddy has been playing. I mean, I mean, it might prove like I know that we know what the soup is, but like the disputed strats of just not caring about time almost like he does not seem to be worried about going oh, with any haste at all. at all it just seems like he's just playing a run <laughs> like and 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 like that could potentially be the thing that that makes him win yeah he's just taking his damn time getting all of the loot and making the best run possible playing for a win instead of playing for a fast win i mean look at his timer compared to the other guys He's lower mm -hmm. time. You know, we'll see. We'll see how long it's it a gets. And a feather. feather, dude. That's huge. That's massive. I love that. Finding these items that no other player is finding that are worth finding yeah. is, is what you're trying to do. I think that's the real advantage that Disputed needed here, though. Because, like, looking at Ruddy and Goji, 
I mean, they're just taking hammer swipes everywhere because they're just trying to get in there. They're trying to do anything, mm-hmm. but they're at Mythrix's level. Disputes can just stay above them. Free yeah, collapse in chat. Ready, finish phase two. Proud of them. Only two plus fives. Not bad. Not Genuinely bad. impressive. <laughs> We're making it. Phase three looks like it might just be easier for him. So, oh yeah, absolutely. Disputed, especially with the pre on as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could just pre on pizza. We'll just have to get there. It'll take a little bit before Mythrix is enough damage taken to jump in the middle to do it, though. With just blight, you know, he's trying to get some poly loot uh, procs with his bite. I think that's and his slam. That's kind of really what he's looking for here. Getting, getting hit with that hammer, though. Disputed, still no signs of leaving. <laughs> no, still, yeah, this is awesome. I'd love camp. to see it. Yeah. <laughs> he's like just going through his items like, doo, 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 just uh, I scrap that one, I guess. Like, no, absolute, no haste. It's just like, yeah. It's, it <laughs> Another plus like five for Ruddy, unfortunately. Oh, my God. This, it, I mean, it, it really, truly just shows how hard this this lineup is into like try to ask somebody to not play full cope from the start and actually go really fast. <laughs> yeah. Poison, by the way, uh, if you had some way to deal with phase two a little bit better, it would have cleared both mythic phases in like four minutes uh, total every time because the percentage based damage. So mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're looking at this. Finally, like, look at him. He's got Finally some scrap for way. soup, you know. He's yeah. he's feeling good. He could I get what the some green elixir. items were. Uh, there was were the... a, a squid polyp, and oh, okay. I don't know what else. But love that. <laughs> oh man, I just remember there being jack shit. Yeah, it wasn't good. I mean, the fact that uh, Ruddy had to take a happy mask, I think, said a lot. If Disputed had any crit, I'd say, you know, maybe go for a laser scope, but. Yeah, now it's officially pizza time on Ruddy's screen, so. He's using the prion. He missed the prion. Oh, man. Tough. Full cope right now. Full cope. I mean, honestly, maybe he wanted to. Maybe like it's tough. But like maybe he was like <laughs> maybe the tendrils will do more damage with poly more chances to hit it instead of just like one orb blast. Yeah, uh, it's tough either way. Honestly, I don't know. No matter what the intention is, it didn't do that much damage. So Koji almost done in phase one. They're so close. Come on, they're they're just trying to bite him. Mythrix just once, you know, they're just like, please. <laughs> and this. This has gone go. on so long. I'm actually going to ask if, I, if it's cool if I go to the bathroom real quick because yeah. this is. This is <laughs> Come been back a little bit longer we'll than here. I anticipated. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Goji, I think, has died in the Mythrix fight. I don't remember. There's a lot of deaths happening. So I think so, though. At least Ruddy has the saver spaces for pizza, though. It is really nice to have. Look at how aggressive he's getting here, too. He's just like, okay, time to do as much here as I can. And look at how fast that uh, Mythos HP bar is moving. I could almost, like, hover my mouse over it, right? And barely see it move, so. You know, like when a download bar is going down like so slow, you're like, ah, you put your mouse on, like kind of gauge, and you're like looking for like the pixel, and you're like, ah. <laughs> I can almost do that with um, the damage on phase three. So another Goji plus five, unfortunately, but it is phase two. So, I mean, this is going to be the hardest phase for everybody. Disputed setting up a uh, a host skip here for Acrid. Although, again, I think he could just jump up the tree, especially with Feather and the amount of speed he has. This is getting dangerous, though. A lot of ads on Ruddy's screen, and he's not going to have enough AoE to really take care of him. 
And it's another plus five for Ruddy, unfortunately. <clears throat> Disputed is doing well on his house skip. If he lands this last one, he will be able to get up there. He's looking for a specific spot there. It looks like he hit it. Look at the right angle. He did. And this should be good for him. Goji plus five for them. Looks like uh, they're taking a second to, uh, <laughs> you know, just breathe, which is a good strategy. All right. Disputed enters the fight. Let's see his damage compared to the others. I know he has Tesla with Plasma Shrimp, three Plasma Shrimp. So that isn't bad. It's not enough. You know, uh, but it's it's not like absolutely terrible. It looks like Disputed did go for the laser scope. He's just praying on that one percent crit chance that he has that uh, something happens. I don't know if he found the key, by the way. I don't think so. Another plus five for Goji. It's gonna be many plus fives from everyone before this fight ends i mean i'm looking at ruddy right now he's very close don't stand the shockwave oh my god <laughs> very close out ruddy's saving grace here really has been a three wungus honestly oh my <laughs> holy disputed and not doing it too bad Again, it's that feather, right? It's the feather, it's the safer spaces combined that's really helping him out. He does have the uh, the plasma shrimp. His damage isn't great. It's maybe a fraction bit better than everyone else's, though. Should have looped. I know you're joking, right? But uh, <laughs> if there was any loadout to do that and actually have a chance at winning... Or at least getting points, right? Tesla Curry Phase 3. I hope that Tesla helps Phase 3 enough. Proc some gas. It help, it would, hopefully it helps out. But All right, I'm back. Have I missed anything massive? More deaths. Uh, Disputed's in the Let's fight. Go. He's over halfway done through Phase 1 already, so he's doing pretty good. It's really that, uh, that feather and that saber spaces. He's abusing as much as he can. Yeah, how much damage is that Tesla coil doing, too? Oh, another plus five for Ruddy. Another plus five for Goji at the same time. God. By the Disputed. way. Disputed. <laughs> looking good at this point. I mean. The Coke he's, strats. He's chilling a little bit. I, I know it's like it's bad when we see like a racer die. It's like they're going through something like really like painful and internally damaging. But um, I love that animation. On the, the plus five. That's a custom <laughs> animation, by the way, that a uh, very nice modder made. It's the same person who made Fogbound Lagoon, and they're very good at VFX uh, work. So they got us a nice little plus five. It has like a lot of butterflies and stuff. It's cool. Yeah, you got to. I mean, if you make such a pretty animation, you got to use it, right? Got to use it. <laughs> Looking at Honestly, Ruddy here, Ruddy's kind of mad at close. Disputed Origin for not using it more. Yeah, true. <laughs> Not really supporting the uh, the team, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Only a few more minutes and maybe uh, Ruddy can finish phase three. Oh, he's just taking swipes, though. He's got to be really careful. He's jumping up and away. Oh, man. It looks like Goji is getting close to finishing phase two. I don't know... What happened for Disputed? But he's not really taking as much damage here from Phase 2. He's circling well. That's a pizza plus 5 for Ruddy. That ragdoll is good. Yeah, it was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. And, oh, my God. Another plus 5 oh for Ruddy. Oh, my God. I mean, I would like nothing more. And this isn't any... Like, this isn't Ruddy hate. But I would like nothing more... Then nine plus fives on Goji, drag them into the call and say, hey, congrats, you got second. <laughs> like, hey, congrats. <laughs> that nine plus fives wasn't the worst. Dude, we've seen races <laughs> like that where like someone yeah. will come in and be like, all right, like how bad was it? And we're like, oh, you won. And they're like, what? Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yeah. I mean, I think everyone came to this loadout knowing 
how bad it'd be. But yeah, oh yeah, I think that's why none of them are giving up, even after all of them. You know, none of yeah. them are just thrown in the towel. I mean, at this point, we're all kind of seeing if Disputed Origin can bleed, but now he's on phase two, but with the gas and the Tesla coil is not looking all that bad. The full looting, super slow strat is really, really paying off. I mean, I mean he's still getting cut up. There, there's a lot of damage. There's the elixir. He did get a couple because he traded the Nukahanas for elixir soup, so he does have a few of those to spend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Smart, Ruddy really in smart. phase four, he does not have the prion. I think he just used it to finish off phase three, and he was like, dude, get me out of here. It's so uh, nice of Mithrix not to take your wings, you know? Oh, I know, dude. <laughs> it's a highlighted item. It's not grayed out. It's not been used, you know? Oh, oh no! Got an eighth one. Because Nukahana's on phase four. Holy shit, I forgot. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh, so no. if he lets Mithrix heal with Medkit, next time he goes in, he's dead. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just has to sit out here forever. Yeah, a skull will hit him if he gets close enough. Right there. After a there it yep. is. There yep. it is. Bye bye. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> he's somehow alive. Void Van. Right. I love Oh Nukahana. my god. Mithrix uses it all. super well actually so <laughs> oh my god so disputed getting rid of nukahanas by the way massive yeah no seriously it it, it it's a, it's a reason why that can be considered the worst item in the game it, it oh, is yeah. obviously not the most useless on you when there's ages that exists but the fact that it does that much for an enemy is is crazy mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's one of the only I think one of like two ways I think where if you're using a really bad loadout and you're in a really bad situation with Mythrix has certain bad items with Nukahana or something you can get soft locked or something so like you gotta be <laughs> fucking careful. I um, love that. I know a couple of people are mentioning that Disputed does have Tesla, but Tesla has more. Um, you can play around it, especially if you know what you're doing, and he does have the ability to just stay back if he needs to. Ultimately, mm -hmm. Ruddy did too. He could have stayed back after the first Nukahana skull and just tried to prion. Um, I don't think it would have really done that much, though. So, I don't know. But I, with Tesla, at least he can jump in and out and be okay. I don't think... Oh, yeah. Goji never found the Nukahanas out of the stage for uh, Legendary Chest. They didn't loot it, so... They have an advantage, actually. <laughs> <laughs> they also have the advantage of 13 pairs of wings, so it's they're looking painful. good. <laughs> Disputed actually doing pretty well here in phase three, though he still has yeah. not died. His saver spaces is carrying him uh to places we never thought he'd go. I mean, the damage is actually really good too. Like I mean, I should say really good, but it's the damage is visible. Yeah, the damage is visible. Like when the Tesla coil goes off or when he kills an enemy near Mythrix and the ignition tank pops off, like it, there's actual, you know, there, there's there's actual uh, uh, visible damage. And I think it's ever since his first plus five early on, he was like, okay, I'm just going to slow the fuck down. Yeah. Because like, I need to remember that this is, this is the seed that everybody's going to die on. Like we were screaming when they really got <laughs> all the way to Mythrix without dying a single time. And then collected what? Ten? Nine? Nine. 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 Yeah. Well, he died ten times, including the Plarva. It's true. Did painful. die ten times. Yeah, I was right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was telling chat while you were gone. I was like, in Ruddy's fight, I was like hovering my mouse over the, the Mythrix <laughs> health bar, like trying to see if he was going down when he was hitting him with Blight. I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> it was hard. Oh, um, let's bring in Ruddy though. Congratulate him on getting through that. Actually, <laughs> Ruddy, hello. Hey. hey, hey, man. You made it through hell. How does it feel? Oh, it feels terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you made it out in nine different pieces, but you're good. Yep. I mean, uh, you're slated to be at least 
number two here. I'll disputed might <laughs> pull out in front. We'll see. Yeah, disputed as might. I think it's disputed very likely. full cope l looted. Like full oh, right. cope, okay. took it as slow as possible, found a feather that neither of you guys found, like mm -hmm. found a couple of other things. Uh, traded out the Nukahana for um, a, uh, a bunch of elixirs and has been using that. Like, actually Te played this really, really smart. And yeah, and Tesla was in the lucky. third suit, I think, of the Bortles. So he right. was cycling those like heavy. Obviously, he was looking for Drone Man, but yeah. Oh, he might take his first uh, Mythrix deck. There here. it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no big deal. He's just got to keep it up. He's halfway <laughs> through the uh, the phase, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure he knows how bad uh, it is for the rest of you guys. So as long as it doesn't come down to my new Khan's deaths, I'm happy. Yeah. How did that feel? Uh, I I could just see the med tick slowly, <laughs> the med kit um <laughs> slowly ticking away. I just. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Honestly, like you just have to keep hitting them. You just can't stop. Yeah. It's it's so unfortunate, but like, man. And you just have to be like a blight sec all times. I was in between two <clears> minds <throat> of running away and just waiting for Prion or just going in. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Disputed knows that okay, he does. He did hit the ceiling, so it cancelled his fall immunity. I was just like waiting to see if he <laughs> plummeted to the ground or not or yeah you gotta if you just look at Akrid's hands not going up you're like oh oh shit shit <laughs> shit but really congrats already on making it through today i mean honestly i mean i know the rules are random but uh it was really tough and i i feel yeah. bad for putting you guys through that one today but that was fun <laughs> at least you got through and you're just like you know what like made it out the other side it's tough it's tough I also Always happy I didn't get loader. you're blowing my mind right now i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> you're pissing me off don't talk about loader that way oh hold on i have some just has a to handle. thousand enemies yeah It is insane. I think Goji is just uh, fully committed into the uh, <laughs> the death cycle. Just make it through at this point. Just make it through. Okay. Add some VIPs. Kay, let me know if I missed anybody. We are racers to be represented. I mean, I'm very surprised that Disputed has only died one time on this fight. This is just um, this is just where Disputed's playtime is coming in. I think he's just saying, okay, this isn't even about the race anymore. This is about I just mm -hmm. want to live. Just keep it up. Me and Disputed have, um, as far as I know, like some of the longest play times out of anyone. I know there's people that have more, obviously, in any game there is, but only people that I know that have the same. We're both at around 5,000 hours. Getting up there. So he's chilling. Those instincts coming back to him from the war. <laughs> And there he All goes. Right. He's finally done with phase three. Let's, let's see how, he see how the phase, phase four. four goes. He it's knows he has Tesla, right? So he's got to play it smart. Tesla does not come up immediately. So he has a little bit of time to do stuff here. He is shooting out the prion right away. He does get a bunch of stuff back. It's enough. Getting a lot of speed. Which that, is that really good. Great. Tesla is active. He can see it on him. It's the buff. So he's just going to wait it out. Once it goes down, he's probably going to jump right in. Or maybe not. Maybe he's just going to blight it out. 
I don't think there's a wrong answer. He's got the fireworks with the the drones. Fireworks from (laughs) wait, that's actually so five head. (laughs) From all the way back, and I believe it. Grandpa played. He played around it. It all comes full circle. (laughs) My God, we were we were doubting the fireworks this whole time. Look at us. We're so dumb. Tesla's back too, and he's pretty much won the phase. So. I think it's fair to say Disputed does uh, come out on top on this one in 80, about, it's going to be like 84 minute run almost. So, GG. Very well done. Which, without those two plus fives, is like a 74 minute run, <laughs> which is already <laughs> such a crazy time. I know not for you, Race, but for yeah. us normal people out here. <laughs> Goji is about to finish phase three as well. I really want them to finish this fight. I would not ever pull them out of this one. After <laughs> all the suffering they went through, they need the win, right? Let's give it to them. Boom. And the phase four skip. And it is beautiful. Let's Good go. Job. Big, big, big sigh of relief. And he's just going in right now. Don't die the orbs. Okay. They're good. Good job, Goji. Both to Goji and Disputed. I mean, oh my god. Only 21 deaths for Goji on that one. Nine for Ruddy on Mythrix. um, And one for Disputed on Mythrix. So, again, like going into it, we had no idea, right? We, We knew nothing. About yeah. like how the myth of is gonna go for anybody, but that's I was just how it be. I was, doing a, I was gonna do a little more damage with my focus crystals and plimp pollute, but mm-hmm. it just wasn't happening. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> scaling the blight damage just doesn't work when it's just so low like that. It's so painful. I can't wait to get both of them in here and just. Oof, the release of not being in that room anymore. Hold <laughs> up, Disputed. Hey. How do you feel about that one? <laughs> Great run. <laughs> yeah, you say that, but you won, so congratulations. <laughs> um, You just... You didn't die that much. Honestly, your Methos fight was really good. Mm. It took yeah, a while. My... I accept the Mythrix one, but the one on stage three was really fucking dumb. I didn't look for that one, but I saw a chat saying that you were greeting pennies, and then I looked and you had no pennies. I think you just <laughs> no, got... But... That's a, a kind way. <laughs> okay. Were there pennies uh, anyway? I don't think so. No, I, I found so. some at some uh, point. Okay. But uh, I, really I was just on that stage three. Hello, I Georgia. sat in a group of imps and... I got nine bleed stacks and they fucked me up. Oh my god. So honestly, like a nice run, right? Yeah, it was really calm. Yeah. The gas saved my ass. <laughs> your full looting saved your ass. Nobody else, like both of the other players were like almost to stage two of the Mythrix fight before you even looked at the teleporter. Like <laughs> <laughs> You were you were very committed to the full looting, and it was smart. Uh-huh. Mike, how did you kill everything to full loot? Is my question. I struggled for a while. Uh, Prion was kind of carrying me for a while. Drones were a big help; they were distracting the enemies a lot. Um, mm. But stage four, there was a gasoline printer, which helped a ton. And then there was an ignition oh. tank on stage five. Hmm. What helped Disputed so, the most, I think, he cycled the Bortles and he got a Tesla out of the third one, I think. Oh, Ooh. yeah. The Tesla That's was really good. Also, fireworks damage. were carrying, too. They yeah, were, we were uh, making fun of you for, for, like, going so hard into the fireworks. And then the fact that it, like, on state on phase four of Mythrix was, like, a significant <laughs> amount of damage when you were resummoning the portals. It was a good uh, come full circle, prove the casters wrong. It was fun. It was good. It was really good, man. It was solid. Obviously, I want to hand out some some claps. I mean, obviously, Disputed, you won today, so congratulations. But all of you for going through uh, 
the the gauntlet today. Um, <laughs> Chad, they deserve a a nice round of applause for getting up on stage and and doing all that, and especially Goji and Ruddy. I know you guys were. This is your first time on stage. This is your first time in the lower race. I know you're nervous about it. Don't worry. You guys did great. It was fun to watch. Um, and we're just happy that you guys made it. Um, and, you know, it was fun. So congrats, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate you having us. Oh, yeah. Um, and obviously, thanks to Frost for jumping in as well. And my co-caster, I need someone this week and no one better. Frost Prime, no underscore, actually. So, yes, I am very cool now. <laughs> um, I have my list of announcements, though, as always, at the end of every week. If you guys want to know when the next loadout race is going to be, we host one every single week, and we have for many, many months. So, uh, go check out the Discord. That's where we post the alerts for when the next one is going to be, because we don't know beforehand. Uh, we have no idea, because we have a bunch of people from all around the world even in this call right now, so it's tough. Uh, if you want to see some past loadout races and you kind of missed out on some, go check out the YouTube. We upload full VODs to there. Spanning, again, months back, there's a lot to catch up on. Um, there's a lot to see. If you guys want to check out the racing mod and play with your friends, um, you can do that. You can actually play it for our public version of the mod, and you can choose whatever difficulty you want. Uh, it's with the plus five feature and all the seating stuff. Um, if you guys want to go and speed run on the, our official speed run category, the gauntlet category and risk of rain to speedrun.com, check that out. Ruddy cub in here right now has a bunch of world records. Go take them. Take them from, from him. him. <laughs> yeah. And if <laughs> no, you no, think no. you're pretty good and you want to jump up on stage, just like ready and Goji did, make sure you go to risk of resources, uh, dot com slash rules and check the apply at the bottom. Send an application and we'll get you in on the training wheels program. And you can scrim with the other guys and uh, get ready for the loadout races themselves. Don't be afraid. We don't bite too hard. So, I mean, Goji and Ready, how do you feel about the training wheels and kind of scrimming with everyone before you started it? It did help you guys a lot, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I can say it felt like if you're on the edge and you think you want to get more practice, like it's, it feels like I didn't even really practice until I did training wheels, um, like working with like cabbage and zinc and ruddy and like getting consistent feedback about the mistakes you're making, like you improve so much faster. So mm. it's definitely helped me a lot. Oh yeah. And it's, we've had kind of got thrown in the deep end. Like this oh, was yeah. one of the hardest loadouts we've ever had, and it's your <laughs> first race. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's really yeah. tough, dude. It's really tough. And I'm sorry, but that is the nature of it. We've had that a lot, right? We we've had a lot of people with their first um, times racing, and we just rolled some horrible fucking loadout, and it's like the worst thing. And it's like, all right, well, good luck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You guys did great though, and uh, we appreciate the uh, the good attitude about it and the the fun spirit. So we'll see you guys next week, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we appreciate you all to death. We love doing it, and because Risk of Rain returns is coming out soon, we want to do some cool stuff on uh, the Risk of Resources channel here too. So to celebrate the uh, the Risk of Rain anniversary stuff, so keep an eye out for that. We'll let you know soon, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye, chat. Bye bye. See you. Bye. Later.